actually totally insane. Let's just swap over and turn the stream on because I'm already like two minutes late. Save. Okay. Blue questing time. And we're going to Limsa Liminsa. Limsa Liminsa. Da, 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 da. Do we have a list of blue quests that we're doing? Uh, yes and no. So Lalaki, a amazing, amazing person, posted on the Gilded chat a collection of blue quests that they had collected. All of the other blue quests that we have not done um, in uh, a TXT file, which is fantastic. And... Well, I guess it's all of them, because I've done a couple of these. Um, Halatali, Sunken Temple of Karn, a couple of these. However, um, I wanted to go through and do a bunch of the dungeon ones that we haven't done and start there. So, <gasps> Lalaki! But I'm going to swap down to FF Listen Live, so I'll be right there. Lalaki, thank you for your list. It's awesome. But the first one we're starting with is the Zealous Yellow Jacket. To do the... Uh, festival. I think this is the festival thing. But it's level 50, but I can do it right now. Well, let's find out what happens. Yeah, the, that, that's actually a job unlock. Oh, okay. Soul of the Blue Mage. Oh, that's the Blue Mage one. Well, I, I, I do want to do the Blue Mage, but not today. Not right now. Though it is a blue quest. <laughs> okay, so let's check here and see. It doesn't seem to be on this floor. Unless, is it not a blue quest, or is it a blue quest that starts the... I, I think it's a yellow quest that starts it. It's in the Aft Castle. In the Aft Castle. So it is in the Aft Castle. Okay. That's where I was about to head to. The Aft Castle. Not the Ford Castle, the Aft one. I don't know. Maybe we do some extreme raids today. Oh. Do some, do some Uriange uh, extremes. Have some fun with those. We'll see. Hey, we sold some flax for eight thousand gil. You're probably, <laughs> you're probably going to be seeing those um, for sale things all day because I just dumped over forty items onto the shop just to clear my inventory. Which, by the way, for those of you, <laughs> hello, hi, welcome to the stream. <laughs> As always, we start off with fun, a little chaos. Um, but if you were worried or concerned about our inventory issues last week, most of it has just been procrastinatedly shoved to the side to deal with it at a later time but at least for right now this section of our inventory has one whole section empty it's amazing because i just dumped a ton of crafting material and other random stuff onto the the market board so that's a, a good start there but um we're not gonna look too deeply at all of um our <laughs> we we lit our, our pants is full actually we do need to move some of these all right, we're going to move. Let's just remove a couple of these things that I have to uh, have to deal with. I bet you can right click and return to inventory. Right click and return to inventory. Oh, it's going to fill up down there. That's fine. That's fine. Do we have any more that's literally full? Three spaces, six spaces, four spaces, six, three. Good enough for now. <laughs> All right. Matter of course and soothing the savage siren. Probably a matter of course. Looks like Katara is pointing it out for me. Hello, hi, hello. The moon fair, moon fire, fair chaperone. Yeah! Let's go more lalas. Hello there. You seem to me like an adventurer who can enjoy a good festival when they see one. And if I may say so myself, the moon fire fair is the finest of them all in Aorzia. The fair has served to promote the Adventurers Guild in recent years, and I expect plenty of folk will join this fun this summer. No one wants to miss the exciting show we're putting on. That's right, due to the popular demand and the wishes of Master Gigaruju himself, we brought back the challenge. Intrigued, are you? Sate your curiosity by speaking with the Hermaga. Hermaga? In Costa de Sol! Alright. Off to Costa de Sol and the challenge. Maybe we need to um, change into more festive uh, attire, I'm thinking, perhaps, so. <laughs> Hello, first of all, welcome everyone in this stream, also in the Discord chat, good to see you. Always said hi to, to Kragan, Akagor already. Steph Swat, welcome as well. Eat your food. All right, we'll eat some food here. Mutton stew, how's that? Uh, wait, literally only gives GP and gathering, so maybe not. 
Maybe we'll eat some rabbit. Well, rabbit pie only gives gathering and perception. Oh, it does give the 3% XP bonus. Okay. Well, I still feel like eating some rabbit pie, so. Maybe some mole loaf as well. How about that? We'll keep it, keep it varied. All right. And then let's uh, swap over to some more festive attire. And, um... You know what? I think we actually dumped off what would have worked perfectly for um, our outfit there. Can we equip this? No, we can't, because it's grayed out. Equip. Maybe that's too heavy. Hey, that'll work. And we'll equip. And we'll... I don't really have any good shorts. That's blue. Hey, those are kind of shorty. Shorty. I don't think... Oh, I have these. Yeah, which are kind of flip-floppy. Okay, this is this is a start. We'll, we'll, we'll rock with this for now, but if we get some better... Get some better gear, we'll swap over to something. It's just a little a little warm for uh, <laughs> for all of the heavy cloaks that we were wearing. We gotta we gotta stick with something a little bit more summery. I should have pulled out the survivor shirt from inventory. So maybe next time we're in town, we'll pull out the survivor shirt and wear that. Looks like that's where we're headed. So sure, blood, give us a ride. Oh, we got the fancy music. Dun, 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 dun. Do, do, do. Welcome to the Moonfire Fair, Fair Adventurer. Moonfire Fair, Fair Adventurer. You're here to give the challenge a whirl, are you? That hulking monstrosity erected upon the shore? Oh, I didn't even notice it. Ah, that's so cool looking. Yeah, it's a jumping challenge. The imposing fortress that turns grown men into weeping babes. The crucible which forges the finest of warriors or spits out their mingled remains. Aye, the Aurorzean Nimble Warrior Course. It looks pretty cool. You had some issues here and there which prevented us from constructing the course anew for a time. We made it work this year to satisfy the fierce demands from our patrons. It hasn't merely returned, however. Oh no, it's been updated and refined with a new circuit. I dare say it's a new course. Reborn. Oh, it's got bombs? With a new circuit, it isn't physically demanding. It's no less a spectacle. We recruited the finest gold saucer technicians and a certain bomb expert to craft so many bombs into the new attraction, it feels like a volcano's erupting when they go off. Aye, tis a trial that tests the resolve of fledgling and experienced adventurers alike, as all are forced to not only calculate the timing of the impending explosions, but avoid the shockwaves that follow them too. If you think you're up for the task, then by all means, show everyone how it's done. We've done our fair bit of uh, jumping challenges before. You look eager to try your hand at it despite all the risks, and yet I don't get the sense that you're underestimating the challenge before you either. It would do the young lad good to see the temperament of a veteran like yourself. Would that he can learn from your example. But you got a kid? Ah, oh, it's nothing. Just this talk of the course and its newfound glory brought to mind a certain worrisome adventurer. Do we know this worrisome adventurer? Hmm. Look, you wouldn't mind lending me a hand with something, would you? Well, you're not busy running the course, naturally. Give me a shout after this if you're interested. Okay, so we gotta go run the course and then we can talk to him. Nice. Oh, no, we just can talk to him immediately right now. You lend the hand, then. You have my gratitude. The matter in question is in regards to a certain new, uh... I suppose he isn't new anymore. Well, anyway, I want you to act as a model of sorts to a certain young adventurer. The lad's name is Ruful Tia. Comes to the Moonfire Fair regularly with his little sister, Ramaja. And seems to be a well-meaning fellow for the most part. Recently, though, he's putting on airs. You'd see him... You better see for himself to get the real picture. I saw him heading to the north of the island with his sister earlier. You should be able to find him there. While he has his issues, there's no doubt in my mind that he has a promising future as an adventurer. I'll leave it up to you to decide how you want to go about it, but guide him back onto the right path, would you? Oh, interesting. So he's kind of fallen off the path, if you will. Alright, well... Hmm. This just doesn't feel right. 
we're going to take a quick pit stop back in Ulda and return to here in just a moment as I swap a couple of pieces of gear out. Eastern Lenosha. I'm going to go talk to them. Pidge, welcome! You're early tonight. How are you doing? Uh, quickly go to here. And then we're going to go to the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Huh. Join the crowd around the summoning bell. All right. Ere, you should have the survival shirt on you. Do, 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 do. Did I put that back inside our, our chest? Maybe I did. Interesting. I could have sworn I dumped it here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, what we can do is go over here, jump to the Adventurer's Guild. Speed inside. Been trying to catch up on my AR alt so I can maybe play along again sometime. Aww! Don't stress yourself about it uh, if you if you can't. You know, your your main is your main for a reason, so. But I appreciate you trying to catch up on, on your alt as well to join us and, and have some fun as well. Okay, and then Glamour Plates. We have not done anything with five. So let's do... Um, do, 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 do. We don't need to do anything with the boots because we can use our equipped gear. But um, survival shirt and shorts. And then we could dye that white if we wanted it to. Um, maybe no headgear. And we'll we'll hide the headgear. That way we got shirt shorts and and pants. We can dye the shirt white if we want to. I bet that we have we have one. I think that'll I think that'll do just fine. Um, do we have anything else we want to? Oh, that's not bad either. It's like got long sleeves. We can't do long sleeves. Can't do long sleeves. Not when we're running around for a festival. All right, this will work. All right, close, and then I believe, if I remember correctly, glamour plate five, and apply this one. Unable to fully apply glamour plate five. Why? Uncompatible with character level, class, race, or gender. Oh, that's a level fifty item. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, at least we upgraded our shirt. That's a that's a start. Okay. So we didn't have as much change as I thought that we would have, but this is this is fine. This is fine. And let me get one die. Thank you, Zenolithi. And die our Oh, it's gonna be weird because it's a glamour. Oh, no, that's right. If we dye this, it should dye the, the shirt. The glamour shirt that we're wearing on top of it. There we go. That'll work. Okay, well, we still have long pants, but that's fine. No big deal. All right, back to Eastern Lenosha, Costa de Sol. We're going to go talk to a kid and see if we can uh, convince him to come jumping with us. So, Hey, One-Eyed Gamer, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Okay, I think Costa de Sol Beach Party. That sounds fun too. I think a matter of course is where we're going. So let's plot a course and head that direction. Yeah, matter of course. Cool. Of course, of course. 
Let's take a quick a quick gander over here. What does this course entail? So I guess you start here. Oh, we can't even go out there yet. Oh, no, they're going that direction. Oh, I see you all down there. Hey! <laughs> You're doing it right now. Jump up onto the pipe. So you go up the side there. Maybe go down around. Wow, this does look look quite challenging. There are no aether currents beyond that point. Okay. Interesting. It like kicks you off of your chocobo. All right, adventurer to be. Come along. Come along. Ah, you might be... Ah, might you be Jake? It is an honor to finally meet you. Oh, and this right here is my little sister. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Adventurer. My name is Ramaja. Would you be playing with us today? Sure. Since you're here, there's something I want to tell you. Though I've only been an adventurer for a few summers, I've already made a name for myself. Hells, I've even a pair of a apprentices? I suppose you'd expect as much from someone of my obvious talent. <laughs> He's already got a little bit of an ego. Anyway, where was I? Oh, right, my apprentices. Go on and introduce yourselves. So he's got himself a little bit of a, a groupie going on. I think we have the same gear for, that she's got on the right. Hello there, friend. The pair of us are just your average, friendly, old novice adventurers who wound up taking up an apprenticeship under our mentor here after he saved us from a sticky situation. He's a big fan of yours, by the way. The mentor we respect respects you, so if you really think about it, we ought to respect you too. And anyone who commands that much respect is clearly incredible. It's an honor, sir, truly. I've heard all kinds of amazing rumors about you, Jake. It's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. Well, it's nice to meet you all. So I take it you also heard about the challenge and decided to join in the festivities. I won't lie, I'm itching to give the course a go for myself. I hear they've even added a new bombastic circuit to it. Though, for a prodigy like me who completed it as a novice, <laughs> the real challenge will be not to fall asleep from boredom. <laughs> a rising star like me has nowhere to go but up, after all. Uh, I'm just going to tell him good luck. <laughs> but that's the thing with you know, ego, is that usually um, you can't tell them to not have an ego because they're going to get upset, you know? They're like, of course I don't have an ego. So you usually got to just let them, you know, make a couple of mistakes and get knocked down a couple of pegs by their own ego. Pride cometh before a fall. I appreciate the sentiment, but I'll be fine. It'll be easy enough to dazzle the audience. Still, it's an honor to be encouraged by the person I look up to. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay, Fo? You've been acting odd lately. <laughs> Even she's like, oh, uh, what are you, what are you on? Uh, am I okay? I'm better than ever. Don't you worry one bit, Maja. Your big brother's a full-fledged adventurer now. I'll give the crowd a show and be back before you know it. For the moment, I became an adventurer. I've always looked up to you. There's no one I want witnessing my finest achievement more than you. So if you can spare a moment to watch, please wait for me on the beach. Oh, uh, we're definitely watching this. <laughs> There's no way we're missing this. Ooh. He's a bit of a fool. He'll be okay, Maja. It's your brother, after all. He'll pull through, surely. Yes, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, my dear. You come too, won't you? I'll feel better if you're there. Absolutely. No Friday episode. Aw. Yeah, my episode tomorrow, it's a, just a lot of, um... Finishing up the inn and uh, getting some fancy, fancy schmancy details going on. I think I think for people who like to detail interiors of stuff, they'll they'll think it's pretty awesome. I certainly enjoy it. I don't know. I've got so many ideas for what I want to do next, but oh, we got dance party going on over here. It's like two different types of dancing. Okay, so they're kind of doing the the lua. I think it is where you kind of. It's a bit of a kind of Hawaiian-y dance. And then over here, it's a little bit different with some clapping. That's really cool. Two different dance teams going at it. Best of luck to both of you. Here we go. I don't necessarily want to get in the way of their view. Wait, what'd she say? Recently, Rahul's been 
Sorry, I forget I said anything. Oh, so she's noticed it too. Cool, it put us over on the side like I was hoping. Do you see my brother? I can't see anything from here. Aha, I sense a damsel in distress. Fear not, young maiden, for we are here to the rescue. Who's that? Oh, it's these guys. Well, at least the, the guy on the left we definitely recognize. He's the, the guy in, ahead of the festival. Beo de Fon. Beo de Fon. Fion? Foin? Foin. Let the games begin! I, Beautifoon, will humbly serve as Herald of the Proceedings with his fancy gold jacket. And I, Herr Maga, have been unjustly nominated to assist him. Together, not even the slightest happening shall escape our ardent observation. Here he is. Now then, let us look upon our contestant, the up-and-coming adventurer, Rafultia. With such a daunting travel for him, who knows what could be running through his mind right now? What do those stern blue eyes of yours see, Aharamaga? They're definitely the commentators. I love it. The lad looks eager enough to get up and at it. He's the uh, color commentator. In terms of physique, he looks to be in fine shape. That said, I can't help but notice some nervous energy in him as well. Uh, thank you again, Herr Maga. Let's wish him the best of luck out. Haha! -ha! The contestant has just took off at a run and is presently making his way to the first jet of water. <laughs> Having done commentating for esports is awesome. And he soars to the sky expertly. Wow, just look at that landing. A splendid feat indeed. He managed it all without losing his footing. This is some proof of his experience as an adventurer. He's well accustomed to moving under pressure, or above it, as it were. That was just the first part, though. There's a lot more of this, I'm sure. And now, he's faced with a decision that will change the course of his fate. Does he take the tried and true path, or try his luck at the new circuit? Which route do you think our sprightly contender will take, Air Maga? The new circuit requires a contestant to be calm and collected in the face of a looming barrage of bombs. Unfortunately, I sense much fear in this one. If I were in his shoes, I would pick the old circuit without a second thought. No, he's going for the new one. His ego is too big to not try the new one. Knew it. Ah, he's on the move. It seems he has made his decision. The new circuit. The timing of his movements leave much to be desired, however. Even the slightest moment's hesitation could lead to a messy result, and I fear he te teetered for too long. Of your eyes, folks, this could get ugly. He managed to dodge the first explosion, and the second, and third, and the... Oh, goods be good. Gods be good. The shock of the fourth explosion has sent him flying like a shooting star. Right back onto the beach. <laughs> or into the water. <laughs> into the water. <laughs> like, they didn't even animate it. They just said, they just saw the characters watch him fly. Ladies and gentlemen, even as the salt water salts his wounds, I regret to inform you that our contestant has been disqualified. No, 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 this is bad. This is really, really bad. He's gonna get super disheartened. Well, there goes our audience. This seems like a fine place as any to end the commentary. Please, go. R uh, Rafool needs your help. Right, I hope you haven't forgotten my request. I'm counting on you. <laughs> the commentary was excellent. <laughs> ten, ten, ten! Beautiful belly flop. This is where you're playing. I was on the other account, sad, about no more videos. Wait, Reginald, what do you mean? This is where you're playing. I was on the other account, sad about no more videos. You're talking, are you talking about Holo plus Jake with the highlights, the highlight account? Um, we should have more videos on there once the videos are done. So it's, um, it, just be patient. Holo's working on the videos. And it usually also depends on how much MSQ I get through because Holo cuts them up based upon story arcs. Not necessarily specific release dates. It's more about, okay, he's finished off a certain section, so let me do all of that as one section for one video. So there should be more coming on the Holo Plus Jake account. Um, hi, Michael. If the reward for this obstacle course was a ticket that made one MSQ invincible and couldn't die, would you push your brother into the water? That made one MSQ invincible and couldn't die, would you push your brother into the water? Um, I assume that means, like, if, if you could keep one member of the MSQ invincible, like, to make sure that they always survived, 
Um, maybe. There are a few characters that I absolutely would not want to die. However, right now in our story, there's so many characters I don't know if they have died or not. I don't know if I could make them invincible because it might be too late. I don't know. <laughs> you stole But I'm so glad that you can uh, continue to do this. Oh, Vaughn, I ain't stopping any time. We usually stream once a week, so... I follow both now. I appreciate it, Reginald. So, yeah, this is the one that we stream, and then we just do the highlight videos on the other one. So that way people can kind of catch up to where we're doing the story on the other one. And then if they want to catch the live streams and hang out, they can do that on here. So, yeah, one MSQ character, uh, Invincible. That would be very tempted, Michael. I would be very, very tempted. But I have to make sure that I can actually succeed at the obstacle course first. And I don't know that I can. <laughs> we haven't even tried our own hand at the obstacle course yet. <laughs> Are our jumping skills up to par? I, I owe you one, Jake. <sighs> now, as always, pride cometh before a fall. He's going to feel like he can't do anything. It's okay, buddy. Lest you misunderstand, that wasn't a serious attempt. If I really wanted to complete the course, I could have done it with my hands tied behind my back. No, you're going the opposite direction, my dude. Don't double down. But it's hardly be entertaining if I were to finish it in an instant. There's no drama. Now when I go back and complete it with ease, the crowd will go wild. Genius, eh? Wait, wait a minute, Roll. Is that what you really care about? If so, you're not the person I thought you were. The, the person that I respected. That guy's got a Chad j chin. Like... Oh, uh, I mean, I'm not just your average adventurer, you know? I need to amaze everyone. No... A fool, you're wrong. I guess you never understood what we admired about you. I'm sorry, but this is farewell. Wow. Not much of apprentices, they immediately turned their back, but... Rafool, you've kind of lost the point. Wh what did I do wrong? You let your ego get the best of you. Oh, don't just shrug, Jake. Talk to the poor man. What, what, what did I do wrong? He's too upset to listen. Maybe you could try to comfort him? You're his hero, so if that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Aw. We can easily comfort him. This is one of those, I wonder if you had just straight emote uh, slash comfort immediately. If uh, it would have immediately jumped into the next part, because sometimes that that works, you you skip a couple lines of dialogue because you just go ahead and and comfort them. Come on, buddy. Thank you for showing me such kindness, Jake. I'm still trying to wrap my head around why those two left. Is it because I failed the course? Because I looked pathetic? No, silly. That's not it at all. Really? It's not because I looked pathetic? I'm not saying you didn't look pathetic, but, you know, that's not the reason. Jake, do you have any idea why? It's because you failed miserably. <laughs> you weren't taking it seriously. You tried to hide from your mistakes. All three of those are hilarious, but I really want to do it because you failed miserably, but I'm not going to. We'll, we'll do it right. We're trying to treat him properly. We're trying to, you know, be the guy that he looks up to, so... Um, but if it was a good friend, I totally would be the sarcastic person. It's because you suck. Plain and simple. This is, uh, that's why. Hide from a mistake? I don't quite understand, but that sounds wise. You didn't look like you were taking it seriously. Oh, that's what she said. Oh, wait, did I do it wrong? I did do it wrong. <laughs> so, okay. So, in my head, the, the not taking it seriously would just push him. I, I thought that that was more like, um, where he was being flaunting and blank oh haha ha, i just want the crowd to adore me and everything um and so more seriously it would be like more entertaining more grandiose more whatever um and uh <laughs> she's correcting me though she's like no that's that's not the right answer you you gave the wrong answer you didn't look like you were taking it seriously, seriously in the sense of it's an actual challenge i wasn't taking it seriously so what even if i had i would have failed all the same I thought if I did it on purpose, then maybe... Who would admire someone who gives up before they've even started? The brother I look up to does his best, no matter how he looks or what others think of him. If you can't understand that, maybe I'll try the course myself and show you what I mean. Oh, come on, girl. Do it. My, that is some remarkable gumption you've got there, little miss. 
Alas, I'm afraid children may not, under absolutely any circumstance, participate in the competition. I don't want a kid getting injured. I hope you don't mind, but I overheard your conversation. My opinion? You're a pathetic excuse for an adventurer, Rahul Fool. Just awful. Wow, just cutting him deep. You're, you're right. You taught me so much, yet I put on such a miserable performance. Everyone must think I'm so pitiful. He's, it's all about, you know, how he looks like to other people. Just listen to yourself, lad. You want to know what your problem is? Vanity. You've lost sight of what's truly important. Think back. Try to recall what Hamagus and I taught you. What it was that you admired about Jake in the first place. It was not the bravado. That's a good shot there. I, I think I finally understand. I was so focused on trying to impress my apprentices that I didn't fully commit myself to overcoming the challenge and stop being a venturer in doing so. And instead, I became a coward. I betrayed their trust, and now they see me for what I truly am. There's no way I could make it up to them. I mean, you could just do better <laughs> instead of giving up. He's still giving up. What if you tried the course again, but took it seriously this time? I bet those two would watch. Again? But I've never actually succeeded. So he, I guess he was he didn't succeed the very first time that he did it as a kid. If I were to fail once more, I'd lose his respect for forever. Oh, this is the first time. He never succeeded the first time. Doesn't matter if you fail or succeed. It matters that you try. Show us what you mean eventually. Yeah, definitely the first one. Okay, failure is a part of life. Failure is going to happen. In fact, you usually have to be pretty terrible at something before you're kind of okay at something, before you're moderately all right at something, before you're actually good at it. That's called learning, and that's okay. I'm going to try my best as a future parent to teach my kids that it's okay to fail. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. It doesn't have to be a part of your identity. You can just have times that you do poorly and fail. That's okay. But what matters is that you continue, if it's something that you are striving to succeed at, then keep working at it until you do eventually succeed. That's okay. And it's also okay if you fail at something and you decide, you know what, this just isn't for me. I'm not, I, I'm not a math person. I've never been amazing at math. Sometimes you just got to let it go and just be like, you know what, this isn't for me. I'll focus my time and attention and efforts into something else. That's okay. Jake, thank you. I nearly made the same mistake all over again. This time, I promise you, I will do my best. Made even harder by the rain that's now coming in. That's great, so. The Lala Squad VOD? Oh, that'd be great. I'm sorry to ask more after what you've already done so much, but can I ask you to serve as my inspiration once more? If possible, I would like you to go through the course ahead of me. Seeing you test your metal would rekindle my aspirations of becoming a great adventurer. Please help remind me to... Re oh, please help me to reclaim that dream. Let me follow in your footsteps. And we'll do it even harder with the rain. Let's go. The question is, though, do we do the bomb version or the original version? So I don't know. Sees the world to me, Jake. I'll follow after you with everything I have. Great. Now my hands are getting clammy trying to think about doing this thing. So Lala shenanigans. That would be really fun. So Super Sideswiper, how are you doing? I've always been <laughs> I've always been amazing at failing. Oh yeah. Failing is where we succeed. Alright, let's go. Okay, so one side has the bombs. Let's take a quick look. So oh he's <laughs> he's holding on to the edge. <laughs> he's like, help! Help! Oh well, there's a whole bunch of people. This is great. Um Alright, so that it really is just about timing. The bombs blink one, two, three, and then explode. But there's the shockwave that comes after that. Or we could take the jumping route that's over here. I think we try the new course. I think we try it. Oh, I don't know that running's the, your best bet. Oh, they're speeding through it. Oh, maybe that is. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's just go. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, there it is. Alright, I gotta wiggle my camera around. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, explosion. Whoop, 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 whoop,
Are you proud of us? You don't bother to make it thus far. Just a little bit ahead and you'll reach the end. Okay. So now, what are our two, two... Okay, so we come down here. And then we have the jumping route of this. Now, we usually... We can help a lot by zooming out real far. And then... Oh, okay. So that's over jumping a little bit. Okay. As a far jump. Okay, a little hop. Little up. Oh! Okay. There we go. Not bad, not bad. So now this is sticking out a little bit. Nope. Okay. Wow, you can't even do it from the front. Oh, she's going ham. Wow, really? Okay. There we go. Ooh, little wiggle. Oop! <laughs> Overcorrected. Oh my goodness, we, we had that. We had that in the bag. And I completely flubbed it. Okay. Let's not flub it this time. Small hops, small hops, small hops, small hops. What? Was that too small of a hop? <laughs> Wow, when you get when you get caught on the edge, you just drop the whole way down. Oh ah, no! <laughs> ah. One more time. If this doesn't work, then we'll 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 have fun with the with the bomb course. But fascinating. As usually with this sort of stuff, you eventually start to like over over analyze it. And you, you can't do that. Okay, there we go. Yes. Now, hop, hop. The issue with this is not to... Wow! It's weird, is you, you put the same key inputs, but your character just flies... Well, not the same. Clearly, I'm not doing the exact same, but it feels like I'm putting the same... <laughs> Woo, we did it! We did it! Ah, is this the end here? Or are we only part way through? <laughs> is this only part two? Ah. Is there one more section? You made it to the end of the main course. If you're still hungry for more, we have the ultra difficult Desert Her course. It's not an actual name. It takes you even higher, assuming you have the stomach for it, which very few do. Oh, so this is only a partial part of the course. Okay, so does that go to the finish? I think that goes to the finish, but this goes to another part of the course. No, 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 because they're coming up the bomb route. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh, and I immediately fail it. <laughs> Straight down. All right, cool. This is a good excuse because I wanted to try the bomb route anyway. Wow, the bomb route is way too easy. Okay, I'm glad I didn't do the bomb route. <laughs> now, how do we even... Ugh! Wow, it is so easy to over jump that. I assume there's no way to just like accidentally hop off of it. All right, no, to, to, not accidentally. I assume there's no way to just walk off of it. It doesn't look like you're able to just... Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That shockwave is nasty! I actually find it easiest just to jump straight from the bridge. Yeah, okay. Because every time you you overshoot it by 
before you get hooked on the side there. Um, it's so easy to overshoot it when you're jumping from the wall. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh! Yeah, Shockwave got me. I should have probably used... Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh speed up! Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, is our speed thing? Yes, it is. Okay, wait for that to wear off. We do not want to try to jump. There we go. Okay. Ah, wow, I am terrible at this. How about we give it another... Three tries, tops. Just one more try. Just, Just one, one more try. try. It's like playing triple triad. You always want to give it one more. Ooh. Wow. Just completely miss it. Yep. That'll do it. Are you already up at the top there? Have you made it? Uh, the next section, not the top top. Not the top top? Oh, wow. Okay. I'll wait for you on the little pegs. <laughs> if I can't even make it up there. Oh, no! What? <laughs> I saw that. I've done it so many times, it was fine! This is absolutely the best way to get up, though, because even though it takes uh, a minute more running, you're very unlikely to fail. Like, how many times have we gone up this thing, and that was the first time we've actually been really knocked off? Okay. Oh! So, they have some advice. You can talk to NPC at the bottom to start from this platform where you talk to the question. Oh! Oh! Fame adventure. Fair adventure. My, isn't it lovely here with all the wonderful shade? Tell that to the road again bloke over there, would you? But he wishes he had my ridiculous hat now. And you don't mind me, I'm looking out for the daring adventure. One who's challenged the course with a handicap, that is. The road again fellow. I thought you, you said you talk to this one and then you immediately jump up to the second level? Yeah, where you're, where you're starting to make that jump to the, the, the non... the portion that's not required for the quest. I don't see an option for, for jumping straight up, that is. Talk to the NPC at the bottom and tell him to close his eyes and start from the top. Oh, you can talk to the NPC at the bottom and tell them to close eyes. To start from the top. Okay, so we gotta come up here, talk to the road again, and then the road again will tell us to go back down, talk to the guy, tell him to close his eyes, and that will allow us to jump start our our journey. We don't have to keep running past all these bombs. <laughs> And I can't even manage to get past the bombs now. This is what the stream's gonna be, y'all. Four hours of bomb foolery. Except Tom foolery. Kai says that you haven't, you haven't gotten a quest on the beach in order to be able to proceed that way. I don't speak see with a quest. speak with Beautifoin. Beautifoin. Grab the quest on the beach, Jake, back at the start. Oh, so I gotta go back to the, the very beginning, way over here. Okay, so I guess we can always come back here and do this afterwards. Let's go ahead and complete the quest, and then and then we'll come back. We can come back and that'll make it easier, so.
This is our little celebration area. And then we can... My muscles expanding! So do you just swim back over? I guess we swim back over. We completed the course. I did the same thing, didn't do the quest, and me started playing on the new play place. Yeah, exactly. There's the Budafolian. I appreciate you looking out for a fool like this. If you're ready to go, the jet of water yonder. Oh! Oh! What? Wait, so we have to do the whole thing again? Yeah, because we didn't complete the quest. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, then let's have some fun. And we already completed the other side, so let's do this side now. <laughs> yeah, I completely failed that. Seeing the way you've carried yourself through the course so far, Raful's gotta be fired up. You already has <laughs> we've dropped so many times before, but you're already at the halfway point, so I'd like to hear from me, but good luck. Alright. So now we can come down here. Fair adventurer. We've already been up. An adventurer head and shoulders. I'm the rest of the course blind. You're not afraid of a little danger, are you? Close your eyes, it'll take you... Closing your eye. Choose to close your eyes. It'll take you directly to the end of the course. Your courage to achieve adventure and take course of course. Yes. Yes. Because we've already, we've already completed it. So this is basically for those who can't get up it. It kind of, you know, you know a cheat, cheat way to get up here. Because you've already done it. Making it to the end, I should mention that I've heard of the situation with Raful. He pr pursued you the entire time, never giving up despite the fear in his eyes. Even now. Hey, look behind you. Did he make it up? I bet he did the ice pose. Oh, no, don't worry about the bombs. Just go. Do not waver. You could do this. Do not waver. You could do this. Confidence. Boom, and he gets knocked off the side. It's go time. All of the bombs. Oh no, did he get knocked off? Did we do that? No, he made it to the top. Okay, that splash we heard was uh, something else. Nice, it was one of the bombs getting knocked off. He did it! I did it, Jake, I really did it. Thank you for leading the way. Play's dead. <laughs> Now that I've made it to the end, I suddenly feel lightheaded. Forgive me, I will return after I've had a moment to catch my breath. Would you mind relaying the good news to Maja? She's probably also gonna go talk to, uh, go talk to these other adventurers. Me and started playing on the new play place. Okay, so now we have our quick way to get back to here. Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, too far, too far. Wait, oh, we can't do that again now? What if we do slash close eyes? No, no, that's not an emote. That was a one-time thing. You might need to finish the quest if it's not available, because it's available after you finish the quest. Oh, okay. Well then, let's go finish the quest. Let me let me go down the slide and go right back through it. I was very happy though with how um, how fast you were able to make it through the jumping side though, outside of the bomb one. We were we were pretty slick. So what I'm learning with the bomb side, though, if you want some tips when you go through this, um, is if you position yourself that when you get exploded by a bomb, you're most likely to just slide up the rest of the path. It's, you're pretty good, actually. You can... 
Don't worry about the explosions, they're fine. See, and then you get exploded, hopefully, up the rest of the path. Oh, there we go. Alright, well, let's go ahead and finish off the quest then. We, Yay! And now we're... Can we fly here? No, we cannot. Oosh, into the water. Swim, swim, swim. In the rain with the tropical fish. I wish your camera could go underwater, because I love I love the way the water looks. But no snorkeling for us. Maybe one day Final Fantasy will expand to swimming underwater. But not today. Oh, you're back! How did it go? Bo de Foyen and Herr Maga were common trading, <laughs> but I want to hear it from you. Comment trading, commentating. He did it. He really did it. I always believed Fool could, but he never believed it himself. I'm so happy. Here he is. How'd you enjoy your swim back? Jake told me everything. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I didn't do much. Just followed after him, really. Still, it felt good to try and finally succeed at something. Don't be afraid of failure. Please excuse us for interrupting. Do you have a moment? We, we judge you too quickly and too harshly. It was only when we saw you making your way through the course that it dawned on us how wrong we've been. That's why... Please take us back! No, I'll never take you back. You don't have to finish that sentence. I'm the one who is in the wrong here, after all. I'm so very sorry, both of you. I let my desire for recognition cloud my judgment and lost sight of myself in the process. It's little wonder you both reacted the way you did. That's why I'm starting over. This time I will not waver from the path. Nay, I shall follow wherever it leads, as a true adventurer should. With that said, do you think you can forgive me? I'll be honest, you were a dismal sight up there at first, looking as you might collapse at any moment. But you didn't. You pushed through it like a true champion. And now we are keen to see how far you'll go, just like when we first met you. Ah, uh, that's why we want to forgive that's why we want you to forgive us. For losing faith instead of believing in you like we should have. Given the circumstances, I understand if you say no, but would you consent to being our mentor once again? Kinda reminds you of Than Cred a little bit, doesn't he? Like you even had to ask. I couldn't be happier to have you both at my side. Yay! They got back together. One big happy adventurer family. Thank you for bringing Fool back to his senses, Jake. If you hadn't, these three never would have made up, and I would still be really sad. So thank you. I think we'll be okay now, so maybe you can do that report thing that Fool always talks about? I don't really get it, but it seems important. And don't you worry about Fool. I'll be watching him carefully. You gotta go fill out a report. The boring paperwork. You can sprint in water. Oh, okay. I guess that means you just swim real fast. Oh, we gotta gotta go finish the quest real quick. Let's complete complete it. Instead of what we usually do, which is just get way too sidetracked and start running around. No more sidetracking, at least not right this moment. I could roughly see what happened from here, but I appreciate if you filled in the blanks. Well, uh, the team made up, and everyone's back to being happy adventurers together. So I finally came to his senses, eh? And he made up with those greenhorns while he was at it. You did well, Jake, and I was right to count on you. With that, he's truly made his first step as a proper adventurer. And better yet, I don't have to feel anxious about leaving the three of them on their own devices anymore. Cell phone devices. Speaking of adventurers, I owe you a reward, don't I? Take this. You more than earned it. And do try to enjoy the Moonfire Fair while it's around. Oh, do we get the whole thing? The whole kit and caboodle? We do. Okay. Ever dependable Grand Mentor. So what's our new fancy gear? Equip. Equip. Uh, where do the new gloves go? Ah, there we go. Equip. Summer Sunset Bottoms. And Summer Sunset Sandals. 
Whoa, whoa! I actually love this jacket. Okay. It was worth it for the glamour. Absolutely worth it for the glamour. Uh, let's actually unequip our necklace for the moment. Oh, yeah. We look great. The open shirt actually looks really, really good. Okay, let's super speed swim back to the other side. And see if it's reopened for us to... <laughs> Choking down salt water. Close your eyes. There we go. End of the course. Nice. We finally unlocked it. Only took us an entire hour. <laughs> now the real challenge begins. All we had to do was close our eyes. Do you know how long it takes you to learn to close your eyes? Not long at all. Just an hour. We are making bank this episode, and I'm not even doing anything. Just from all the stuff that I decided to sell. Nope, too short. All right, so a little bit closer to the front edge. Not a problem. Take it one step at a time. This is definitely way faster than trying to um, run up the bomb side. There we go. Got it. Now, stand on this outer side here and small hop. Okay, now I'm going to try the side hops we did on the other side. There we go. That's a big up hop. There we go. Alright, so now this is an out hop. There we go. Now, if we angle ourselves to the front, this is going to be the... Oh, wow! How did we get that? How did we get that? I have no idea. Oh, that was a big hop. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Oh, we actually almost had that. That was really close. And we, we really had it, and then we walked off. I got I got worried that we were gonna go over over the side of it, but but yeah, those doing it from the side is definitely the way the way to go. That's too short. I always hop a little bit early when when the no stop the front first hop. You really want to be right on the edge. I think the the early times when I over over hopped it made me nervous about overshooting it again, and so there we go. I don't know how we didn't fall off that one. All right, we'll give it three more times and then we'll come back at some time when we're not on stream and, and mess around with the rest of it. See if we can complete it. If I do, I'll take a screenshot and share it on the Discord. All right, well, let's try one more one. <laughs> we'll just call it right there. That was a... Uh... That was a really poor, poor. Five more times? Okay. That was that was our, our fifth time. Four more. I don't want to spend the whole stream just trying to uh, hop onto some sticks. Even though it's fun. There, there is this sense of, like, it's so doable, and yet at the same time, you're, you're always on that edge. You're just like, oh, it's right there. It's right there. Wow, now I suddenly can't even get past the very first the very first peg. Maybe I'm too far to the right? I think I'm aiming a little bit a little bit far out. Far out. I 
I'm just so afraid of getting hooked on hooked on the wall because that's happened to us a time or two that the side of us um, gets caught on something along the wall and then we don't make it the whole way but ah no I think I've just lost lost the reaction All of y'all are trying to do it with me. There's such encouragements. Look, you have the advantage being small like that, all right? It's way easier for you to get on... St <laughs> get on stuff. <laughs> so one trick that I use is I actually aim my jump towards the wall. Like, I aim against the wall in the direction of the peg that I want to reach. Oh, and that so means you're not... that if I, if okay. I jump and, I, and my jump would overshoot, I'm overshooting into the wall and the wall stops me above the peg. So you kind of walk out a little bit along the peg and then look into the wall? Yep. Instead of just going directly side to side like I was, I've been doing. <laughs> you gotta jump, Doc. <laughs> Hey, so catching up on your going through our arm. I saw that we were live and had to come by and say hi. Hey, KP hat. Welcome, welcome. Yes, we're just messing around, having some fun with the Moonfire Festival, some blue quests, maybe some extreme raids soon. I think I'm going to call it here on this. I, I will have to mess with this another time. I I think if my brain has just gotten fried with all the jumping. <laughs> Something about the going back and forth and completing the quests just totally took me for a loop. But I appreciate all the encouragement, everyone. And uh, we'll we'll keep going, but um, not no more no more jumping for this right now, and we'll we'll complete the grueling task of jumping up another time. But we made it. We completed the um, the end of the Moonfire Festival. Got ourselves some awesome gear. It is nighttime as well, so let's actually go to Limsa Lominsa really quickly, just because I want to see the um, the fireworks. I actually have yet to really see the fireworks in game. I've only seen them um, from screenshots. I've heard them a time or two when we we're running through town. I never actually walked somewhere and um, tried to look at the, the fireworks. So we're going to go check out the fireworks here real quick. If they're still going on. It might be a little a little bit late in the evening for, for fireworks in Limsa Lominsa. But. And then we have a beautiful list built made by Lalaki for all sorts of different dungeons and stuff that we can do but i think that it'd be really fun to just start with doing the um uh, uh Uriange extreme raid you know that sounds like a lot of fun just to try and so we do happens. titan do the titan extreme I, th I think that'd be awesome is it scout no uh lookout there we go. I don't see any fireworks. Lalaki, what's going on? Huh? I mean, Lovava. <laughs> You're Lovava, not Lalaki. <laughs> the different outfits got me confused. Where, where, where are they? Uh, what is it? Dialogue? Uh, it's slash converse. Oh, converse. There you go. Converse. <laughs> I guess it is a little bit late for fireworks. We'll have to we'll have to see them another time too. Another day. Whoa, whoa, otter, otter, don't jump off. Come back here. I know that you like water, but that's a that's that's brick down there. You don't want to drop onto that. Okay, let's go to the waking sands. Oh, <gasps> I hear. Oh, they're over there. Oh, okay. Is that a way that we can... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go to the other side of the anchor yard. The drowning wench. No, this is a great, a great spot. 
Do you see where I'm at? Oh, you're over there by the blacksmith's guild. Is this is this spot a little bit a little bit too close to it? Oh, I like that one. Little phoenix wings. Oh, they knew we were about to leave, and they were like, "Wait a minute, hold on." <gasps> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's so lovely. Is it the ship that's firing them off? There must be some small, some small ships out there that are shooting them off. Oh, that's great. Every now and then, you can see the little um, Final Fantasy meteor symbol show up. Is that the like two circles put together? I'm not sure I know what the Final Fantasy Meteor symbol is. Remember a long time ago you had a little ring that would go around your um, the, your webcam image on the stream? Yes, yes. It, it's that. Yeah, I've, okay. I've seen that show up in the fireworks before. In the fireworks. Okay, that's cool. So that actually, that must mean that there's a pretty decent variation in um, the style of fireworks that are, are popping up, so... Maybe it's like a, a finale series of fireworks. I love the ones that kind of shoot out like like wings and feathers and stuff. Those are really pretty. Boom. Ah, that's beautiful. All right, let's go talk to Urianje. I'm glad that we made the pit stop though. That was um, well, well founded. Good reason. All right, that is not blue fog. Fry bone, bucket station, Forgotten Springs. I hope it's Forgotten Springs. I, I thought it was gonna bring up the map, but I was like, <laughs> it didn't bring up the you map. You want to go to um, the Waking Sands? Yeah, this is definitely not where we want to go. Um, it's Horizon. Yes. Uh, not northern. Western Thanalan, Horizon's Edge. There we go. Feel free to to come along. I'll I'll pay the the fee for everyone to to hop along if they want to. Poopa Lupa's got a quest. That's awesome. We haven't chatted with Poopa Lupa in forever. Hopefully the brass blades are doing all right. After the tre treacherous adventurer killed their queen, how could he? Whoever he is, I hope they arrest him for forever. Because he, he despicable adventurers. Shut the whole adventurer guild down. It's just not worth it. Any good they do is um, clearly a mistake. Man, it's been a while since we've been here. Memories flooding back. Tataru used to sit there all the time. <laughs> Not there anymore. Slashvin? Slashvis? We talked to a bunch of these people before. Oh, Yagiri's here. <laughs> Yagiri's here. My fellow Domans and I are glad to have been in service to the Flame General's rescue. If there's not else we can do, know that we are ever at your disposal. Raban with his missing arm. All right, the Whirl King. Oh, the king lives. All right, hang on. So that's Moogle. how many? How many do you have? Four, three. Whirl of a time is um, the ah fish guy and drop dead Shiva. So I have Shiva, um, Leviathan, the L is what I was thinking of, and um, the good king Mogglemog. So I don't actually have Titan. Then we might need to have gone back to where we just left. Um, well, check your check your duty list to see if you've actually already done that quest. Uh, all right. Well, actually, it might be because I'm a conjurer. It won't let me do it 
Let me swap over to something like the Dragoon. See it it would show it as red. Okay, yeah, I didn't even this time popping up. Um, and then you're saying in A Realm Reborn? No. Yeah, A Realm Reborn Trials. Trials. Dungeons, Guild Heist, Trials. Realm Reborn. What high-end trials for a Realm Reborn do you have? The uh, Amphitheater, which we did just recently. Um, the Striking Tree, which is Ramu. Those are, those are hard. These are hard, right? yeah. We don't have... Yeah. I don't have... Oh, I have one extreme, the Howling Eye. We've only done Garuda extreme. You should have Minstrel's Bane as well. Oh, yes, yes. But that doesn't list itself as extreme, but we do okay. have Minstrel's Okay, it's, it's in the same out. class yes. as extreme. Yes, yes, yes. High-end trials. I, I see the okay, name there. Okay, so let's go back to the Ath Castle and visit the, um, the Maelstrom office. Okie dokie. Burning gill left and right. Let's go. <laughs> Titan Extreme is a must try. Really cool trial gameplay wise. MSQ Quest is the symbol. Okay. I, I'm telling y'all, if you're looking for a stream of somebody who's got a brain, this is not the place to be, okay? Uh, you know, half a brain here and uh, <laughs> smooth brain, a single wrinkle. I, I do what I can, but it takes me a, it takes me a minute. There's only a triple triad in here, which I'm totally down to place a triple triad, but Roomba Brain? That's the first time I've heard that. I like it. Roomba Brain. Triple triad challenge. Guess that's what we're doing now. Dun, 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 dun. I have that all the time. Oh yeah, all the bouncing. All right, red turn, same and plus. When cards play with two more of the sides are touching, and cards are identical, flip it. When cards play with two more of the sides are touching, the other card and the sum are identical, flip it. Ooh, I don't know how to do any of that. It's fine. We'll just, um, these two sides are definitely not the same, so we'll flip it. Ours are going to be flipped easily, but that's okay. It's super easy to flip the bottom of it. Now, up is a challenge. Up is always low. We want to flip. Hmm. Or could be flip, but that's okay. We have our A that can flip back. Oh! What? Well, that's Bologna. Okay. We can get one of ours back. That will get one. They're gonna win. The combo. The combo. So that's the issue. Ah, eight we and two. To... Should be able to flip. What? It's the same. Man, cards played if two or more of the sides are touching other. Oh, are touching other cards. And the ranks of those sides are identical to those in the sides of the card play. The cards are flipped. Oh, I thought it was just the two cards. It was the other side. The two and two would flip it. That is not the case. Okay, well, this is seven up and seven down. Will that flip? There we go. Nice. Okay, that'll work. Um, that will flip and gives us a nine on the top, which is pretty safe. Okay, well, I didn't think about the on the side. Fine then, Sid. Why you gotta do me like that? Alright. Um, eight will flip, but so will seven, and seven's higher than a five. So. Hey! Got one. Didn't get a card, though. Lame. <laughs> Alright, what's the issue? What are, where do I gotta go? The previous quest, Gale Force Warning, we need to complete. Gale Force Warning. Okay. And that's at Commander Helio in Gridania. To Gridania we go. Oh, you know what? I think we were starting and we talked about that, but we didn't actually do it. That's fine. Oh, you're going to teleport. Okay. Yeah, I think I've actually talked with him several times because he's got two blue quests right now. And we declined it a couple of times, so. Um, but that's okay. 
We're going on adventures. We're playing cards. We're doing a lot of fun stuff. This is one of those nice streams that you don't have to stress much about. You just run around and have some fun. Hang out with some awesome people. But if you're interested in joining for the Garuda trial, which hopefully Extreme will be able to get to, um, the now's not a bad time to, to get on. Alright, so is it this one? No, that's seeking Solace. So I think it's this one out here. Scarlet, are you the one that I want? Fear Odin, Judgment Bolts, Lightning, Bad Bladder, Fear Odin Shroud, no? Who is it that I talked to in Gridania? Uh, over at the Serpent Office, Commander Helio. Yeah, Commander Helio. And what's the name of the quest? Is it the Seeking Solace one? Uh, Gale Force Warning. I don't have that. It's only giving me Seeking Solace. No, you're at the, you're not at Commander Helio. I see your dot outside. Oh wait, no, you're here. Yeah. Did I already accept it, and I'm just uh, haven't actually done it? Um, uh, well, I remember we did it, and so you should have in your key items a little bag. Uh, nope, nope, no bag in my key items. It's called Vortex Ritual Focus. Nope, don't have that. <laughs> and maybe you already turned it into him. Maybe. What is? How do you open up your full quest list? Uh, J. J. Here we go. Okay, so we. Worm Slayer, Bathing Bully, Lesson of Humility, Soul Crystal, Cortana. Oh yeah, we've got to do that one. Oh, that's a whole different thing. Oh, this might be it. Quick me up before you go, Mo. Uh, I, I think I started it. Yes, that is it. Okay, yeah. so I've started it, but we actually haven't done it. Okay, so how do I... I don't want to abandon it. No, no, we'll keep, keep going. Um, where does where does that one quest take you? Objective, reattune to the Aetherite in the Ugamaro Mines. Oh, so you, yeah, you're already there. I'm, gonna, I'm turning in the uh, Gale Force Warning, and I'll meet you there. Okay. I think somebody teleported to where I'm supposed to go in Lenosha. The Ugamoro Mines. Uh, no, this is not the area that we're supposed to go. <laughs> um, that is going to be... I think it is in Lenosha. But... I think it's outer Lenosha. Yeah, the Ugamoro Mines. So it's up here. I think Lalaki, you were trying you were trying to help teleport me there and you just went to the to the wrong Lenosha spot. That's okay though. And while we're here, I'm gonna complete this one as well. Get this off our plate. Message from Slap Swiss. Preemptive strike to take out the wind of the Cobalt sail before they can mount an attack. And she recruit old buccaneers like us for the effort? Their ass is even better than when Admiral Merwe had her hands full with the beast? Why, that's either the most barnacle-brained idea I've ever heard, or bloody brilliant. I'll confess, I had my doubts when I heard that she was leaving the Yellow Jackets, but I see that she's as salty sea dog as ever. Ah, this shall prove most interesting. Okay, cool. We can keep doing that another time. But at least takes one quest off our myriad quest list. Ooh, what a beautiful day! Ooh, what is that thing back there? Big sphere-looking spire. Fascinating. Oh, you know, I assumed, Lalaki, that you were actually trying to help, all right? All right, you know, is it, is, is it my fault if uh, <laughs> I assume wrongly? I mean, it is, but is it? Okay, now wait a minute. Got to make sure we're going to the right place in here. So we're trying to find the Aetherite Crystal. If I remember correctly, I think it's down this way. So we have to go up here to the right. 
to the right. Nope, not through there. Ah ha ha! It's a little hidden passageway. Oh, it does. Right here. Okay, cool. It's not really that hidden. Ow. Excuse you. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to jump that far backwards. And now he's dead. <laughs> we got to reattune. Attune. There we go. Now we've got it, the Naval Extreme. All right. Who's ready to do it? You. Not me. <laughs> I'm going to do it as a... Um, as a Dragoon, just to add some more... Some more. Oh, actually, you know what? We're only level 51. I would do it as a black mage. We're gonna do it as a black mage for fun. For for the lulls. Only a party leader may register for the duty. Ugh, well, well, Vava, that's you, so. Oh no. Lelouchia hasn't done um probably hasn't done Gale Force Morning. So the the um the Oh, oh it won't start it? No! Oh, well, uh, Lelouchia, do you need to do... Do we need to beat um, Garuda first? We can do Garuda and then do Titan. Because I can also do any one myriad of another you know, series of quests up until Lelouchia's got up, too. I'm fine with that as well. Well, so. we could do... It's fine, because we could do it unsynced. And uh, Katara could easily carry us there because <laughs> she has a 90 character, so she could just insta hit Garuda. I will unsync then. Uh, I will drop, and you can do Garuda. Um, we can. How about this? Well, well, if we need, if we need two, we'll do. We'll do. Oh, we got. I was thinking that what we could do is um, have. Uh, Lulushu drop out for the first time while we do it, you know, synced is how you're supposed to do it. We will probably fail terribly, and then afterwards you can do it unsynced. So that way we just get one of each and and get to experience the terror of the extreme, and then also get to complete it as well, so. But I guess if you technically, um... Let's say, because we still need a full team, so we would be, we would be stuck in a hour-long instance with a full team. How many is a full team? Eight or four? Eight, yeah. Eight. Oh, so we need all all eight to do it. Oh, unless we're doing unsynced, and then I see they could carry us through. So, okay, yeah, well then that's fair. Unsynced, I, we can use as many as we want. I could just play it by myself, um, synced, at a later time. That's that's true as well. So, we can, since people are on right now, we can do it unsynced, um, and then do it synced later? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, hello. It's, uh, yeah, synced or unsynced either way is fine. The issue is just that they did not have it unlocked yet. All right. So they have to go through Garuda first. So we can we can carry them through Garuda. Let's carry them through Garuda, and then we'll have them we'll have them join us. Because if it's just Garuda they have to do, then that's like two quests and and Garuda. And, I, and Garuda's fun to to kill anyway. So does that sound good, Lelouchu? <laughs> oh, poke with two E's does not exist. Alright, so oh, that's Lucia's got Garuda nice. ready to go. Let's do it. Um, I need to invite them back. Yay! Yes! 
Extreme Garuda. This is going to be a little challenging as a, as a black mage as well, because positioning really, really counts. This will be a fun challenge. At least you don't have to tank. That's what counts. Alright. Oh, immediately teleporting away. Wait, is this unsynced? <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I didn't realize it was unsynced, and so when she landed with half health, my brain was like, Whoa! Whoa! Who did that much damage? Wow! And then... <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah, I didn't realize that was... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lackey was at seventy, so or sixty nine, so pretty much uh, two tier, two entire expansion tiers higher, and Katara was at ninety, so that's right. four expansion <laughs> tiers just higher. One shot, <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, that was so funny. I think Dancer has the highest potency ability of any job, even though they aren't the highest like overall average damage they uh, they have one single ability that has a higher number than any other job higher burst than any other job we also got the vortex ring of slaying ring 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 ring, ring. level 50 all classes ooh is that better than the rings we currently have maybe no, not better on on this at least. Uh, no, maybe on dragoon. No, not better. Oh, because we have the high Allegan ring of slaying. Got it. Still a cool ring though. that sit back down okay I gotta start going through here all, all my mess of gear and cutting out whatever stuff I don't need like there we go the level one for all these other jobs the rogues arm what's that one level five yeah we don't need that the level 16 so any of that stuff that's below level 16, we don't need. Level 15, that's why we've got it equipped. That's fine. That's a bunch of random conjurer stuff. Machinist. Pugilist arm, we definitely don't need that. Archer bard, we can keep those. For more, we can keep those. I think we crafted this? Yeah, we might have crafted some of these. I can't remember. Because they're not green, but they're high quality, so I don't know how we got those. Uh, 47, that's a 49, which is fine. More books, more books. I'm just brushing up on all the mechanics for Titan Extreme. <laughs> I will be very blind to it all. 43. No, we've got that one, which is way better. So we can get rid of this, too. Which is good. And then this is all the different things we actually have currently equipped. Let's pull all of this down here. Oh, we got that equipped, too. Level 13 bard, level 1 bard. Oh, so we can switch over to bard. 
And then we should be able to put a new... Yes! A bunch of new stuff on. Nice. Cool. Which also means... Where did that other bow go? I don't know where the... Oh. Nope, not that bow. This one here. That's what I was looking for. Get rid of that. Okay. Torturer's monocle. Oh, jeez. 15 Disciple of War. See, we can get rid of all 15 stuff, because we're 16 and up, as long as we aren't wearing it actively. So, any other 15 gear. We're good to get rid of. Uh, we'll pull this out, but I don't know that necessarily get rid of it, because level 10, having something fun is, is nice. Straw hat's good for certain things. That's a crafting thing, so we'll hang on to that. 15 Disciple of War. Wait, I think we're actually wearing this. Yeah, I don't know why I'm pulling it out. We were wearing it. Is it the same thing with this? So we had some outfits that we were... Yeah. <laughs> we had outfits that were using it. And we're like, oh, let's just pull that out of our inventory. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are we ready to go? Jake is going in as a black mage. Yeah, is that a bad idea? Is that a terrible idea? <laughs> no, it's fine. I thought I'd do it on a job that uh, is a little bit on the lower lower experience side. Oh yeah, that's a great axe. Go beat him up with his own weapon. Beautiful. No. It says 19 minutes, but I don't think uh, I don't think it will take that long. Stop moving! I'm trying to take a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're doing the Titan Extreme. Oh, 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 Starwind is is here. Cerulean Starwind joined the party. Got it. Alright, so. Close position as a... What is this? View Venture Plate. No. I think Dancer, yes, Dancer. Sharing the effects of certain actions with target party member. Who are you targeting? Me, dance partner. Sharing the effects of certain actions executed by your dance companion. Oh, I get to be your dancing companion. Ooh, fancy. Let's dance together. And enmity is increased as a marauder. Nice. Uh... Fancy spells! <laughs> Hopefully they just get reset when we go in, because if, uh... <laughs> if we get stuck, then we'll be in trouble. Now, again, because we're, we're waiting on this, we can go do some other quest stuff while we're, while we're uh, holding out on this, so... We don't, we don't have to necessarily... Um, sit around for 20 minutes if it even takes that long. So let's do let's do some other stuff. Let's do some other stuff. So, um, so Lucia, matter of perspective. No, no, no I don't want to jump there yet. Let's see. Oh, that's the the archer quest. Okay, we're not gonna do the archer quest today. Um, that's MSQ. Not doing that. But we can do aether currents. Let's do some aether currents. Why not? Sure. Big boom. Need 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 more big booms. Everyone go as uh, 
black mages. Okay. We gotta go... Gotta go slay some dragons. Gotta go up into this area that we've actually never, never been, which is kind of neat. Okay, we're gonna go... Out this way. Use your eyes, Jake. Use your eyes. Oh, we're gonna be immediately attacked by all sorts of stuff here, because we're below level. Should be fun. Oh, we're going the wrong direction. Because we gotta go up high. That's gonna go below, I believe. I believe. Can I can I get up here? Okay, well we're gonna die, that's for sure. <laughs> <gasps> executed I'll be right back I'm just gonna teleport right back again so that way we don't have any any resurrection debuffs and maybe we take things a little bit slower since we are not uh, Matt was what I was looking for earlier we'll we'll actually do it proper and kill stuff along the way so you could you could res but um, doesn't that give a, a debuff or is that only in instances that you get a debuff for, for being res. Only in battle? Oh, so maybe after after the battle is over, then you're not in um interesting. Okay, good to know. Maybe we'll have to experiment with that. Okay. Do, do, do. Go ahead and swap back. All right. So the question is, uh, it's got to be above. It's it's got to be climbing this hill. However you get up it. Are you riding on a shark fish? That's awesome. Nice. Continue to scale the mountain. A big boom. Clearly this train is designed for flying over, which makes sense because this is the area that the dragons are in, so it makes perfect sense that this would be difficult to travel by, by foot. You got a handful of scales, that's so cool. Now you can make a scaly armor. Whoa! Well, I didn't mean to uh, drop in on you, but hello! How are you doing? Oh, you are a giant beast! One down. Slay Hopkins. Kropkin. Uh, my spells are not fast enough. Did I get credit for that? I did, even though I didn't hit those two at all. That's awesome. Those are because my spells take so long. I should have gone with shorter, shorter to cast spells like lightning. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh yeah. Come on, Sherbutt, get up. Okay, can we sneak around here? Oh, we could also just use the the aetherite to teleport back. Ah, oof. Oh, so we could have taken the the lower route. Okay, well, good to know. We climbed that whole way for nothing. Thank you, uh, who is that? <laughs> Lulu Shu for uh, taking those hits because uh, I did not have the help to survive a hit by those things. That is for sure. All right. Oh, report to... Well, interestingly, 
It won't let me complete it as a black mage. What's the issue here? You gotta complete quests with the job you started. Oh, interesting. So I bet it's Dragoon that I have to complete it. Yeah, it is. Well, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Well, it kind of uh, limits some of that ability to then kind of change things on the fly is um, completing the quest with a different thing. So, or your level is lower than level quest. That's probably it as well. So, Brave Adventurer, finally I can enjoy a bath without the smell of raw dragonfish assaulting my senses. Say, a dip in the waters might serve to freshen you up a bit. Yeah, I smell a little singed, I'm sure. Nice. All right. Aether current time. Where do we get our other Aether currents? Which I think is in character? No. Travel. Aether currents. We are in the churning mists. There is one over here by the worm's lair. And then there's four that we're missing. Looks like there's a blue quest up there waiting to inhale as well. So looks like we'll have to do a little bit of running around. But we can jump to Zenith and that should speed things up a little bit. Or wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, the worm slayer is MSQ. That's MSQ. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if, if you have all but the last green one in a zone and you're still doing MSQ in that zone, then you that like the final quest in that zone uh, for MSQ gives you the Aether Current. Gives you the Aether Current. Okay. So let's go back to then the... Um, I don't know. Let, let's just go to the Highlands and start there. The Westlands, the Karthus Western Highlands. And we'll start okay. there, kind of work our way, work our way through. We can, because we need to do a lot of, um... In the Western Wait, I'm Highlands... I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember. Oh, the green ones are the actual grabbed quests. And the yellow ones are the... Or the green ones are the grabbed Aether Currents, and the yellow ones are the quest complete. I believe. Right, yeah. right. So I have I, I, I have like backwards. three three quest complete ones that I have not been able to get. But I can check this guy. Yes, see he gives a, an aether current, so we can do this one. Okay. You have a moment to talk. Short while ago, one of my workers from the house of Dismal asked me to go and deal with some Mylodons that have been causing trouble. The Black Iron Bridge barely started the calamity. It's in desperate need of repairs, but the upland Mylodons roam far too close to it. The craftsman can't work safely, so he needs to kill them. The Mylodons, that is, not the craftsman. I'd ask the dragoons to go, but they're so busy. It'd be a few weeks before they found the time. I'll do it myself. There's so many of the beasts that I'd rather be swarmed and outnumbered. You're a capable man. Would you be so kind as to go and thin them out? Okay. Um, do, 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 do. And that is up across the bridge. Ooh, I like the little jumps that your horse has, Lavava. Boing, boing, boing. It's like a deer jumping through the forest. Yeah, like a fawn. Bounce, 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 bounce. I don't know that we've been across the uh, Black Iron Bridge before. I think we've seen it from a distance on some uh, air tour de uh, Katara <laughs> or Orwin. <laughs> Boing, boing. Little unicorn. It's so magical. Alright. Ah, there he is. Big 
not in line of sight. There he is. Complete. Okay, now while we're out here, actually I should check. Is there any more uh, travel, aether currents? No, we've gotten all the easy to grab ones. They're all quest ones. So I'm going to assume that these other three quests here are probably also the other three that we need because they're all blue. So let's go ahead and head over there and grab those. Because we can always um, Aethernet travel back. Super easy, barely an inconvenience to get back to that place and turn in the quest. So, hala. Upland Mylon. Mylodon. Upland Mylon don't care about you. Because Upland Mylon don't care about you. Bite your face and then do it again. Okay. Whoa. Wait a minute. So we're going to come off here. Everyone just immediately took off running. But to get up there, I think we have to go a little bit to the south to wrap around where Lalaki is going. Yas. Hello, polar bear. Don't mind me, just passing through. Go about eating your fish. Thank you, Lalaki. All right. The Aether Current. Cowards, you all, have you no shame? Wait, are you not Master Kelton, honored ward of House Fort Holm? Praise hello, and surely you consider my request. Know you of the Dusk Vigil? Western most of the Citadel watch fronts built to warn the, the Horde's approach, which was lost during the Calamity. Within the ruins lies a priceless treasure which must needs be reclaimed. I thought to enlist services of the so-called Dragon Slayers, but it seems their courage is not as boundless as they would have you believe. You, you are not one to shy away from danger, am I right? There is a sculpture of the Fury within the Dusk Vigil's chapel. An ice rondelle is set within its helm. I'd have you prize it free and deliver it to me. The vigil's not very behind, simply said north towards Banepool until you come to the gates. Might save our passage, but should you explain who you are, they'll grant you leave to enter. So they want us to steal the little blue crystal? Maybe. How can I forget? You're the lad who is in the Azure Dragoon's company. Since you're here anyway, perhaps you might like to try your hand at a spot of hunting before you depart. See for yourself what life is like for us convictors. Divining and Horde is stronger than you might expect, unless you've been at it for years like I have. I think it prudent to start with something simple and then work your way up to dragons. As just rams. Slay three of them to then come back. Consider it a warm-up. There is a snowball fight happening behind me. <laughs> Wanna hop out? There's plenty that needs doing and killing besides. I'm sure you've noticed the dragons aren't the only thing we have to contend out here. Take the bowler bears. They come here looking for an easy meal, drawn in by the smell of our cook fires, and then raid our stores. Think you could thin their numbers a little bit? Kill four of them. Okay. So four slime or four polar bears and three three slimes. Two polo bears. Oh, it's cool they jump up on their back feet. Oh no, we gotta kill the polo bear and then go. Alright. Black mage. There we go. Commence. Alright, it's time for Titan Extreme. There we go. Okay, what am I getting into? Oh, 
Oh, it's the best music again. Okay, how do we do this? 100 Alligan Tombstone Pelex, we award upon completion. <laughs> oh, there it is! Go! <laughs> well, alright then. <laughs> We're doing some pretty good damage right now. Oh, that's the side, that's the side. All right, he's up. Inside circle. Okay. Smaller circle. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Alright, focus on the DPS that was jailed, and get underneath him, all the way underneath him. Oh, I see! Wow, that was awesome. Easy to knock you off, but if you're underneath him, then you don't get hit nearly as hard. Uh, no, he'll knock you back from anywhere you're at. Just underneath him means that the knockback takes you to the edge of the arena. His soul should become available to attack. Titan's heart. Yep. Ow! Wow! Insta shot. Okay. I did not immediately start running when that popped up. I was trying to remember what my my extra damage um, spell is, which is this one. Oh, underneath, 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 underneath. Oh, I still got knocked off anyway! <laughs> Alright, let's find out what happens. Oh, I'm just dead underneath it. Titan's heart is shattered. Can Drop Hazel the get a tank up in time? All right, you gotta kill the minions off to the edge of the arena. If you kill them in the middle of the arena, we get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> just left off the edge. <laughs> like, yep, yep. You just gotta reset it. That's it. We're not going any further than that. Okay, <laughs> that was cool. Back at the beginning. Let's do this way better. Let's actually use my spells. Okay. Instant chance will double. The target and all nearby enemies to save. I'm gonna wait on that. So it's 30% mana. For sure. Okay, I gotta remember that. That's Alt 8. Okay. It's supposed to be cast that interruption. That's a really good one, too. Nullifies most knockbacks and draw in effects. So that's when we're kind of underneath him, we can cast that, and that'll help us to not get knocked off. So. So most of the time, we're gonna stand directly behind him until the weight of the land appears, those little circles, and then we'll step out of the way. And by all stacking on top of each other, it means we have the shortest distance to have to run to avoid it.
Nope. I got caught. Okay, free. Oh, ah. I even had the, the... No, um, snooze. Go away, Windows update. Yeah, I even had that. I guess it was on cooldown. It wasn't really up, up. Attack Titan's heart. Ooh, almost got me. We have to be apart. Oh no. Oh, oh, apart, 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 apart. Yep. So for, when you get jailed, the DPS should always go directly under the boss, and the. Um, the healer goes out to the edge of the arena. Okay. The, the closer that they are together, um, the harder it is to smash the jails to break them. Good to know. I almost have swift cast for this. There we go. Alright. So we want to we wanna kill these guys out at the edge of the arena. Off tank should be wrapping them up. Way to the land's gonna come up here after these bombs. Go to the center. And then out to the edge. <laughs> oh no. That was really close. Free the DPS first, and then wait for the knockback. <laughs> oh, it knocks no. like everyone off. Yep. Chase Jacobs going ham. Okay, so they drop little puddles that you want to avoid. Anybody to land next to group up behind him? Yep. Oh, okay. Stay tightly stacked. Okay, healers out to the edge, DPS right underneath. Free the DPS first, and get, get underneath him, and all the way underneath him. <laughs> they freed me <laughs> as he did the pop back.
Here's my Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even looking! I was so focused on who I was targeting. Don't even worry about bringing me back. Focus on, on resing the people that are, are more valuable. Woo! We are bursting through mechanics here. I'm focusing right, on getting some cool screenshots. Alright, I got the res. And we want to get these minions off to the side. Oh, what? Oh, what the hell happened? I don't even know what hit me. <laughs> Termal? Termal? Is that where he just like stomps a bunch? I think so. Uh, don't don't worry about it. again. Don't worry about resing me. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to pick up. Yeah, I think he just happened to be stomping in the same direction that I was trying to walk off to. Oh, run! Woo-wee! Yeah. you from falling off even if you uh, survive <laughs> oh wait if you don't break those long enough it kills you yep oh so it's not just like you wait until you pop out you are you will die if you don't fascinating mm -hmm. okay so that's, okay. that's why the dps the dps job when they get that uh jailer symbol on them is to go stand under Titan so that when he lifts his leg, everybody else can stay under him for the knockback while also freeing the DPS. After they get knocked back, they can then free the healer out on the edge. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. If I even survive that long. <laughs> yeah, as a DPS, the things you want to watch out for are the... Um, the landslides, which are those big lines that appear, and the weight of the land, which are the AoEs appear underneath you. That's a good place to tank him. That's perfect. Come in, come in, there we go. Stay grouped up tight. Alright, DPS underneath, I'll go out to the edge. Go ahead and free the DPS first. No, I don't know. No. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh. That's what killed me the other time that I was brought back. Just this constant little... And now target his heart. Go ahead and pull him out to the edge. Ooh, survive Pull him that. further out, further out. There we go. Yep. Break his heart. Uh, oh, I just had no mana. That's what the problem was. Uh, okay, go away, go away, go away, go away. All right, final phase. Off tank should go ahead and grab the ads when they appear. Yep. Go to the center. 
wait for the first set of bombs to appear. And now we've got to the edge. Ooh, that got me. I'm not dead yet. Focus on the jails. Get underneath them. Ah! No, I'm dead. <laughs> I guess I could have been more underneath him. He's almost gone, though! Oh, yep, they got me up, they got me up. Alright, so I can just give enough healing here. You almost got him! Go! Get away! Bombs again! Yes! Limit break! Let's go! Goodness. Pull the dicey there towards the end. Pull through. You made it. You made it. Return to the starting point for the naval extreme. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, it'll just reset you. No, go ahead and click it. Oh, I okay. Um home point. Okay, there we go. That's that will bring me back to life. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We'll commendate Hazel. We'll roll greed for a cool earring. We'll cheer for everyone who made it. Oh yes, 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 yes. Picture, 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 picture. Hey, come over here. So that way it's not as as glowy. It's right behind us. And then everyone do some type of uh, cheer emote. Are you gonna go into G pose? There you go, G pose. Yep, Perfect. exactly. Yeah. I wanted to, want to deposit, and then freeze everyone in cheering. There we go. Ah, why can't my? Oh, there we go. I was like, why is my camera being weird? And yeah, we'll just do more, more front facing to get everyone. Oh, uh, character lighting. Light everybody up real nice and pretty, like. Say cheese! <laughs> Even the powering up has, the, like, the lightning through it. That's awesome. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Love it. I'm sure y'all got some great screenshots too. Did you just jump off this side? Do you respawn back in the middle? Ah, there you yes. go. <laughs> All right then, you know, golem. <laughs> ah, it's into the lava. Nice. Hey, right, you guys, straight your stuff, right? Straight your stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, we just we just be tight. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> now the crab king. Crab king. Oh wait, we got a cutscene. As you know, the twelfth staff, the titan displayed a most satisfying degree of destructive power. The intensifying effects of the ritual, uh, yeah, ritual foci are undeniable. Powerful though this incarnation was, the primal's eventual defeat was not unexpected. The burgeoning strength shown by the bringer of light, however, has grown beyond reckoning. Such a demonstration of force serves us still, and invites ever greater retaliation. Yes, as the light burns brighter, so too are the shadows steeped deeper in darkness. Ooh, whoosh. When do we get teleportation like that? 
Oh, spooky, spooky stuff. The Assians continuing to try to make things even stronger. All right, voting time. Which extreme are we doing next? What are we thinking? So we can head back to the Thanalan Western Horizon. There's um, King Mogulmog. There's Leviathan. And I can't remember the other one. Shiva. Shiva, thank you. Shiva. Anyone have an opinion on uh, which one we do next? One more quest line. Oh, yeah, I gotta. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. I was like, wait a minute, don't I have to go back to Gridania? Because that's where we, we got it from. Was um, Gridania. We gotta go return to Gridania. Shiva and Ramu is in Gridania. Sounds like Shiva seems to be the harder of them, and uh, I'm totally down for uh, adding Shiva to the list of primals that we beat. Or we could do another another warm up before we um, complete it. Wait a minute, it's not here. Okay, Jay, what are we doing? Wake you up before you go. Mo. Bring the crag focus to at the maelstrom command. Ah, that's where we have to go to Limsa Lominsa. Maelstrom, not the yellow jackets. Ah, thank you. We're just going all over, touring the sites, if you will. <laughs> Last time we came to Gridania, that's what confused me. Alright, to the Oft Castle. Is that where we need to go? Yes, Maelstrom Command. You can't tank Shiva, she's tough to tank. Well, do we want to do a, a slightly, slightly easier one then, before... And mess with Shiva another time. I have noticed I'm a bit of a spazzy tank. No, you're fine. That makes makes it fun. <laughs> Keeps things interesting. The rumblings have ceased. It seems no matter how powerful the Lord of Crags becomes, you and your companions are up to the task. We found something of interest in the navel. Oh, we did. The ritual focus. That's the bag. This bone? Such a grotesque design. Honestly, I will never understand the Cabal's sense of aesthetics. You say you acquired a similar object after you battled Garuda. We must consider possibilities. These trinkets are responsible for the primal's appalling new strength. But I shall leave such conclusions to those more learned in this subject than I. Try to return to the Waking Sands and convey my greetings to Uriange. Alright, now we can go back to... Teleporting coming. Horizon. Shiva? You want to do Shiva? We get some, some other people to, to be tanks for us? Let's pull Shiva and regret all of our choices. Oh man, we didn't even level to the 51 off of that as a black mage. Oh, I did realize though, um, I actually am full full stacked on Allegan tokens. Um, I need to go spend some, some tombstones. Need some level 50 casting gear. Um, yeah, what do I have right on right now? Yeah, I have some level, item level 115, so we have to see if there's something better than that. We, got, we actually decent. have some pretty good gear. Uh, back up. I can spend those in Old Da, right? At the, uh, yeah, the Moogle? Yeah, Splendor Spender. Not, not at the Moogle, I Right, right as you come out of the eighth right on the left hand side, there's a splendor spender. Right, where we bought the um, the Sid Garland, you know, stuff. The, the where we bought the sword and shield and stuff. So the Lord of Crags was also possessed of unprecedented vigor, and thou hast returned with yet another curiosity of bone. Indeed, I have. You're gonna get a whole skeleton by the end of this. The Capalds are not known for fashioning objects in this manner. 
What is more, its construction doth bear a striking similarity to that of the trophy recovered by thee from Garuda's lair, the fleshless remains of beastmen worshippers. This is the material common to both of these foreboding ritual tools. What unsavory sorcery have the paragons bequeathed to their unsuspecting pawns? Uh, there is yet another commonality in this augmentation of the primals that concerns me, and that is thee, Jake Kelton. For every mountain thou dost conquer, uh, ironic, considering that it was Titan that we beat, <laughs> a rock, I am struck by the answering waxing of the potency of the primals. The pattern is too clear to ignore. Such a cycle bodes not but ill for the realm. I must unlock the true nature of these immortal entities ere the land is once more racked with ruin. And as thou always, as always, thou art my stoutest ally in the gathering of the requisite keys. Keys. What does it unlock? Oh, now we got one more for the Ifrit. Ain't broke. Didn't we do the Ifrit Extreme? Or no? Maybe not. We got Ifrit. Not the Extreme version. Okay. Well, let's grab Shiva. And then maybe we come back, depending on time afterwards, and do one more. By thy high deeds were the people of Corthus spared certain doom at the hands of the of a deformed entity. Yet if the missive we have received from Lord Dremont of House Durandere speaks true, it would seem that the hard-won respite hath come and gone. Recovering from her wounds, Lady Iceheart hath rejoined the struggle against Ishakar. No, oh, this is totally not in line with the story, but that's okay. <laughs> Worse, it says the disciples have already laid claim to a horde of crystals, a horde far exceeding the quantity we recently wrestled from the caverns of House Fortong. Tis all but certain that the heretic's mistress intended to call upon Saint Shiva once more. And so once more must Orosia's blade of light be brought to bear against the primal. None save thee might hath enough to defeat such a foe. Tis for this reason that Lord Dramon hath requested thy presence at the White Broom Front. Pray hie thee thither with all haste. Hie thee thither with the Um What we can do is uh, say that this this story element came between uh, when we beat Shiva the first time and um, me, you know, when Iceheart starts her journey into Dravania to turn the dragons away from killing more people. Take a seat, why don't you? To Karthus we go! I'm able to teleport. Is it because we're sitting? Oh, it's because we're sitting. How lame can't teleport. I bet that Hogwarts students can teleport when they're sitting. Just saying. Ah, oh, we can fly here! We can fly, we can fly, we can fly, we can fly. Drillmon. Oh, I can't I can't pull him out while running? How lame. <laughs> I wanted to use a death claw for a minute. Just get dragged along. Zhu, zhu, zhu. He has a little bobble that he does too, like he's almost about to drop us, but not quite. Is he in the tower? Oh, down Correct. the stairs. Oh! I saw you coming to the top of the tower. Oh, that's such a brilliant way to get in when you're coming this direction. Brilliant! My gratitude for your timely return, Jake. Would that it were under better circumstances. Our efforts to contain the heretic threat to the Western Highlands beyond Snowcloak have suffered a grievous setback. In order to support expeditions further afield, we sought to establish an outpost in the Heretic's former fortress. Under guard, our craftsmen began the necessary improvements. For a time, all proceeded according to plan. And then... The building work had scarce begun when Iceheart's minions descended upon the fortress from all directions. If I were to guess, I would say that they deliberately delayed their attack until sufficient supplies had been delivered to their doorstep. I do not begrudge my men their decision to flee. By all accounts, it would have been a slaughter. Many survivors condemned to a fate worse than death at the hands of their leader. However, by abandoning the crystal stores, they have given the heretics a mean to summon their primal saint. So Isar might not be directly involved. I beseech you, Jake, slayer of the gods of beastmen, who banished once before the demon who threatened us now. Lend us your strength. Infiltrate Snowcloak and put an end to Iceheart's machinations. Thank you, my friend. Though I pray you stop her before she completes a ritual, I have faith that you can defeat Shiva before it should come to that. 
One of Sarah and Merrick's temple knights awaits you at Snowcloak. He shall guide you through secret tunnels to the Aetherite at the heart of the heretic's fortifications, whence you may gain entrance to Iceheart Sanctuary as before. Well, let's go! Even though we have not defeated the Behemoth, we'll ride him anyway out. At Snowcloak. Ah! Hmm. Okay. Yes, this is fine. This is totally fine. We can go and unlock it and start our, um... We can start the queue for it, and then I'll run to Ulda and spend some some tombstones because I could have gotten an extra 100 and I didn't no we're not doing the fate it is an honor sir when you're ready I shall lead you through the tunnels to the Aetherite will not be troubled by heretics or beastmen along the way so you may concentrate solely on the task at hand Sounds like a plan. Oh, so that just immediately gives us access to it. Now accessible. Now accessible. Cool. <laughs> Did you heal him? That was so cute. Wait for everyone to filter in. And then, let's see here. What do we want? Oh, we could use some actual really good crafting gear. Oh, but it's eye level 55, but it's level 50. Got it. Okay, well, let's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Alchemist. Um, let's get some good alchemist gear. Alchemist cloak. Can I not buy it? Oh, I don't have the white crafter's script, so it's a different type of... Ah... Uh, Combat supplies. Materia. Oh, okay. Miscellanea. Ah, cool. We can get some of these things. Minions. Sure. Let's unlock the minions. Let's go ahead and unlock all of these. And then some orchestrians. Um, I hope that we don't already have these. Reflections. How, do we know if we've already gotten these? It'll have anybody? a little check mark on it if you've gotten it. Even in the shop, it'll have a little check mark. Oh, uh, what, what, which uh, items are you referring to? I thought you were talking about the orchestrian rolls. Yeah, I'm talking about the orchestrian rolls, but I, I'm trying to see if I have the one in the shop uh, or it, without buying it from the shop yet, because otherwise I buy yeah, it from the shop. It'll have a little system. yellow check mark on it. Okay, okay. Well, then we definitely do not have these things. So let's go ahead and get. Uh, both of those, and then we might be able to fix this one up too. So let's go ahead and grab this one as well. Why not? There we go. We'll buy them out. Buy them out. And then uh, inventory use, use and grab all of these. Someone does not meet the duty requirements. Masterworks? Oh, is so anyone below item, item level 95? Level 50. Ooh. Item level 95. Uh, average item level 89. Ugh! <laughs> Apparently I need okay, to go yeah, ahead Okay, yeah, so go ahead and throw on your new gear. Uh, I need new leggings. So let me do magic range DPS and... Oh, I only have 491 now. Do I have enough for leggings? No, I need 510. What? Ah! Uh, 
I'm actually a little bit shy. Okay, how about boots? Can I do boots? Ironworks, I literally have the same boots. Okay, well, what about Ring of Casting? Here's Ring of Casting. Level 90, level 90, level 80, level 110. Ring of Casting. That's a better Ring of Casting. So I could definitely get this or the, the Choker, which is 80. That's actually the thing that's probably pulling it down quite heavily. Level 80. Yeah, let's do the Choker uh, of Casting. Grab that. That should be enough for us to go here. All right, try it now. No? Nope, says someone does not meet the requirements for the D. My average item level is 93. You need two more. I need to be 95? Oh. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm out of... Uh, Tombstones. I'm down to 200. So let me just go to the shop then and buy some better pants. Oh, I gotta get some better pants. Ethernet. Avenue Exchange. Sorry, I'm holding everyone up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I gotta go shopping. You know, me and my glamour. Alright. Let's look at the leggings. Item level 110. Rainbow Slops of Casting. How is this? That? Only 15,000. Good enough for me. Alright. Update gear set. Now I'm item level 95 average. On the dot. <laughs> Look at that. Now we're in queue. Less than there five we minutes go. to wait. That's great. Only, only took so long. That's all good. All good. All right, in the meantime, I can go ahead and teleport back to the Western Highlands. I hope it's the Western Highlands I'm trying to go to. I think it is. Nope, it's not. <laughs> it's the Central Highlands. Hop, hop, hippity hop. Skipping, bopping around. Alright, we're gonna take the Drake. Because they will love it. Nope. Oh, too late. Commence. Ice Heart, what are you doing here? I thought we agreed this is not the way. You are like a sister to me, Iceheart. Okay, zoom out. Get the wide view. Oh, they're right in. All right. Have some lightning. I'll see if I can call her mechanics. Oh, run away from her, run away from her. inside this circle here. Whoa! Okay, apparently not. <laughs> I was in the wrong spot. As the only person who didn't see where to go? What? How lame.
Alright, the tank is gonna quick gather up the minions and, and then go ahead and use AoE abilities to AoE them. what's happening when I use that spell. Okay, I got it. Frozen. I don't think we cleared the DPS check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, insta did. Wow, we have not done much damage to her at all. Okay. There you go, I had to take myself back off of push to talk so that I can <laughs> communicate effectively. Okay, so when she does this, there's one in the middle. That's what hit me. I gotta go to the outside corners. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. And in later phases, she will cycle them in a circle around, and then the final one will be in the center. So you start in the center, and you wait for the one on the edge to open up, and then you move out to the edge for that. Got it. That's instant. I need to save that. That was practice. Be good now. Be good now. Let's go. Than the AOE lightning on her. Alright, we're good now. We 
little bit circles here. Yep. Get a few seconds of immunity after you res, so just don't don't press anything. I mean, you can you can walk, but you can't press any buttons. Okay. Don't go in the center. That's the oh. first one. Oh, 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 <laughs> All right, now stay in the center. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I'm getting pulled in. No, get out. Wait, am I pressing the wrong keys? I'm all over the place. I don't even know what's happening. Alright. <laughs> oh, no. I was just about to win. So yeah, when the ground turns frozen, do not move, or you get sent out to the edge and turned into an icicle block. And then people have to break you free of that ice little block or you just slowly lose more and more health. <laughs> Insta kill! Okay. I think I know what that looks like, but I'm not positive. <laughs> oh no, I was running around with AOEs too. Just trust me. I was. I'm right in the same boat with you. That's probably how I died in the first round. Tank Buster us. Yep, there we go. Get into the safe spot. And then. Ow. Oh man, I did not make that. She's changing to staff. Alright, get away. Alright, group up for heals. And take out the ads. There's less than three minions, so single target spells are the most effective now.
Hey, she chose you. I feel so special. <laughs> you get stepped on. I move away from her. Group up for heels. Oh. I think uh, maybe she took a, a tank cluster that was meant for the whole team. Alright, we'll have ice for this one. That's the ice. Alright. Wait outside of the center and then move into the center. Ooh. Oh, 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 that's just a move. Oh, I messed up. I messed up, big. Yeah. I, I saw you moving. I was like, wait a minute. What? We're moving. I'm moving. It's all good. Oh, wow. <laughs> so when she goes to bow form, she fires arrows in a 270 degree arc. Everyone needs to stand behind her to avoid taking damage. I got one shot with that. Mm-hmm. That's honestly one of her coolest abilities when she goes straight into bow form and she does pew 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 That's a full health check. <laughs> that ain't even a, a tank check. That's a full health check. Progress! I'm gonna eat food. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Spread out. And group up for big heal. Go to the safe spot. She's going to change her weapon here pretty soon. Sword and shield. So group up for tank to share the tank buster. There we go. And switch to ads. Sure you're doing a great job with that tank buster. Oh, 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 Completely failing. Ow. Do a cool dancing mode or jump. Watch for her fucking change. Center is safe. Separate. She has the staff. Oh my goodness! I... 
I'm not keeping you to alive like I should be. That is my fault. Go ahead and move center. Yep. She's changing weapons. Bow, stand directly behind her. What? I got caught in that? <laughs> oh, I was Unless even... see if I can get the raise off on the lucky. I was even using the, um, the jump to ally thing, where I was trying to jump to you. I thought I had that. That's so much food. That's a light. <laughs> I can't. I got snapshotted by the ice. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost to. I almost need to be here. Okay, so before the whole floor turns blue and everyone slides to the edges and then gets frozen in ice, what's your indicator about moving or not moving? Is that where you don't move? Don't move when the floor is blue? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise generally you then start sliding off to the not, side. Yeah, so generally for you, just try not to move at all unless there's a mechanic that requires you to move. Right, like the circles on the ground. Yep, see, he's got the right idea. This guy... Close middle and don't move. I'm gonna do a way marker there. Um, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can put one as the tank marker up there. Here, I'll even use a potion of intelligence. There we go. Now I'm super buffed for 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, uh, she immediately came to me. I'm sorry. I attacked a little too fast. Go ahead and come center. Alright. Move out to the safe spot. And back to the center. She's staff. Separate. Spread, spread, spread. And come back to center for fake heal. Perfect.
Ah, I sucked in my head again. Get off my head, woman! <laughs> Your heels are pointy. No. Step on me. <laughs> Step on me? Why'd you choose him? Alright, set our safe. Set our safe. She is staff, separate. Find a safe spot. And back to center. Now it's very important. Don't move unless you absolutely have to. That's what I'll do in my uh, long spells. You should be going to foe for the same thing. Safe spot. And back in center. Oh. Directly behind her, directly behind her. Very nice to Sky has five stacks. Should probably swap to Revolution. Because those are oh, those are slashing resistance down. Actually, this guy's probably fine. Don't move. <laughs> sliding, sliding. All right, if you can, try and target the, um, the armor over there. The ice, the ice blocks. I'm working on it. Center safe. Safe spot to match. Don't move. I am very low on mana. I need a, I need a, the taunt, I need a taunt, <laughs> I'm taking the action. Thanks, I need a, uh... Alright, over here by one. And in... Keep going. Oh, 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 oh. oh we oh. got caught in it there anyway. We're so close. So close. No. That was it, Bo. Oh, but you got caught part of us. Yes, yep. yes, 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 yes. If I can. Just focus on heels. Just focus on heels. Oh no! Dad, you got no. locked. No. <laughs> oh, it was such a good try. Alright, Sky's gonna solo her the rest of the way. I can feel it. Warriors are pretty strong. No, don't move! No! <laughs> Wait, how did he avoid getting hit in the wall? Well, because um, if you slide from the center, you'll hit the wall, but if you ah. slide from the past the center. Got it! This is an awesome fight. <laughs> Everybody's like, so close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Nope. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, 
the pub center. Spread out. And back to the center. Don't be in the center. Ah, <laughs> uh, you picked a non-safe spot. It's kind of hard with the rings over to the top sometimes. Yeah, I look at the rings on the ground. Yeah, but you have to kind of like get underneath their um, their view. It's interesting. It's just different. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't pick me, because every time she picks me, we end up dying, so. <laughs> she has it out for you. It's the curse. So, safe. She's changing to staff, separate. As a black mage, there's nothing better you could have said. <laughs> All right, um, go south, 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 south. All the way down here. Yep. And then you go north. Uh, behind her, behind her, behind her. Uh, uh. She turned around. I'm rising the Alright, now I can go. You're all Spin doing up. great! No, you three came to the crew, same corner! No. <laughs> Everybody who had the stack went to the same corner. Yeah, three people came to the same spot. <laughs> Uh, pain. Pain. I don't have my benediction. <laughs> no. That's GG. <laughs> so they were holding a res. <laughs>
Yeah, it's it, kind of similar with Titan. Is um, you know, I, I'm pretty familiar with most of the movements now. So um, yeah, the bow attack is really the the big one. It's just it yeah, insta kills, and you just gotta know when she's swapping. So. It is stats that separate. <laughs> that was the tank buster. <laughs> run, Black Mage, run! Oh, you can't catch me! <laughs> you can't catch me! Come on out! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so were were we supposed to be grouped for the tank buster? Was that what happened? Uh, it was yeah. The tank, the, what the tank does when the when the, when there's two different types of tank busters, one of them the tank is supposed to come back with us and let it spread across all of us to spread out the damage, and the other one they're supposed to take themselves. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm feeling confident this time. As long as she doesn't put her foot on my head, we're definitely winning this one. <laughs> Using sword and shield, so she's gonna he's gonna spread the Yep. There we go. Go out to the safe spot. Yeah, that one's really hard to uh, really hard to dodge. It is Kane spread out. Oh, I need to use my nullifying barrier. Tight, tight. There we go. Where'd she go? 
Oh, you can throw snowballs in here. <laughs> Cause it's all snowy. That's so fun. Oh, I didn't get a picture of it. I was doing the flex emote, and she froze me right as I was in a bad pose. Oh, that's awesome. Last circle, and then go center. Oh, Don't I move. moved! I moved, I moved, I moved. Okay, alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. Oh, no! Center. Ah. <laughs> She's bow, get behind her, get behind her. She's bow. Ow, and that still hits me from way over here. Goodness. These snapshots are inaccurate. Oh, I should have. I should have. Uh, she was too charge and mitigating it. No. Yeah. Oh, the lock got up. Yes, yes, yes. Just keep the healers alive. Healer's alive, that's all that matters. He got four up. I can't die. Four up. Oh, Sky! Getting so close! I'm out of mana. Yeah, I see that. You got nothing in the tank. Don't move! Alright. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Whew. Oh, I made it. Behind her? Right, let me see if I can get Malak yet. Oh, the sky's down now. Sorry, if I scan here one. Lelouchu, hang in there. Two. Okay, so now we have two healers. Oh no! Oh, I did it, I did it! Alright, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Wait! Yeah, you're fine, you're fine, don't move. Don't move. Alright, two All right, healers. Lucid dreaming, lucid dreaming. Yes, alright, I got it back. I gotta spam cure one to preserve my mana here. Alright, we got spread, four. Spread, spread. Sky's up. Tanks are up. Don't move. Don't, don't move. move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh no! no. I you made it! Oh, you survived! Brilliant! I thought, I thought it was over. <laughs> Come on, give me this dream back. Give me this dream. Yes. Alright, out of the circle, out of the circle. Alright, right back to the middle. 
weapon change soon. Yep. Yeah, she's got bow, 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 bow. Everyone lived! <laughs> Except for all the people that are still dead, but you know, that's fine. Alright, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Look at this! Everyone gets Everyone's res! Alive. Boom! LV3! That's fine. As a black mage, I don't want to move. It's all fireballs all day, baby. Let's go. All right, free the um, other people if you can. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. We're working on it. There we go. Freedom up. Freedom up. Freedom up. Freedom up. Freedom up. I got the res. Don't move. Ah! Oh! Deathspot was not joking when they said that Shiva was brutal. Right? Wow, that was... <laughs> that's one of those that even if you know the mechanics, you're still getting just slapped over and over. Wow, 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 <gasps> wow, 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 wow. What's wow. the mount? The, uh, the, Boreal, the Boreas whistle. Roll neat on that. Need. I'm just rolling need on everything because I want. I want okay. it all. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pass on it. No, uh, no, no, no. You can roll on it. That's fine. No, too. no, no. Because there's other people who need it. Um, okay. I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna roll need on the coffer and need on the orchestra rolls. I already have it on my uh, my primal character. So. That made for exciting TV. <laughs> Thank you, Vaughn, for taking it out through the whole thing. Oh, that was brutal but amazing. Brutal but amazing. Oh, I got the whistle! You, 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 oh, yes! What? Yes! Oh, don't tell me you all passed on it just so that I could get it. I know there's other random people in here, but holy crap! Oh my god, okay, yeah, yeah, we, you gotta go see it. I'm giving, okay. I'm giving Sky okay. that uh, comms. Oh, wait, 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 we got a picture. We got a picture. Picture, 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 picture. Picture, 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 picture. Picture, 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 picture. All right, so on this line here that I'm kind of standing on, I'll face forward and in, in forward from that direction. So that way we're all we're all facing the same direction here, and scoot in real close. All right, let me yeah, let me get over here next to you. Scoot in real real close. You're all short, so it's okay. <laughs> you can scoot in real close. <laughs> all right, do your pose, uh, G pose. Oh, that's an amazing battle axe pose. Do it again. Oh, that's perfect! <gasps> this is an amazing picture! Oh, this is brilliant. I love it. That guy scoot a little bit to the right. How is it that Lavava and are doing the exact same pose every time? Ah, oh, that's so good! That's so awesome. I don't want to cover up Lavava's face. Ah, oh, what a fantastic picture. Well, <laughs> Lalek Key and Lovava are constantly doing this. You're just doing the same pose every time. It's great. <laughs> welcome to the uh, the raiding life. Oh, th man, it does feel good though when you beat them because it, again, it's you know the mechanics, you know what you have to do, and yet still, it's such a challenge to pull it off correctly that by the time you actually beat it, you're just like, oh. <gasps>
Wow. That's what I'm what so looking forward to uh, with the what update, the 6.2 patch next week, is they introduce a new set of raids, and there's a Savage version of that, which is like here, the hard uh, versus extreme difficulty jump up. The, the raids have a raid versus Savage difficulty jump up. Wow. And so I'm looking forward to like twice a week doing like a three to four hour uh, session where we're, we're working on the new raids. And you just know that you're going to dedicate a ton of time just to sit there and do the raid over and over again until you get it done. Yep. That's amazing. Uh, where'd you go? Uh, I, I remember I went back to change my gear. I'm now headed down oh. into the um, tower to go finish with Dermon. Oh, okay. Dermon. Yeah, yeah. Praise Halloween for your safe return. All here prayed for your success, Jake. Tell us, have our prayers been answered? Oh, yes, they have, though barely. Even stronger than before, you say. We are truly fortunate for your intervention. Yet, would it be wrong to glory in this victory? For it is yours, not ours. Indeed, your very presence here is a testament to the inaccuracy of our own preparations. Plainly, it is time that we reprise the threat posed by the heretics and our readiness to address it. I can no longer say with any certainty that we are equal to the task. But this is none of your concern. Forgive me. Your deeds shall not be forgotten, my friend. You, Orianje, and your entire order have my utmost thanks. There we go. Report to Orianje. I'll wait for him, I'll wait for you all to, to turn in the quests. Go ahead and uh, pop your mouth. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, the Boreas. I have no idea what this looks like, so I am, I am crazy excited. Boreas. Oh, is it one of the horses? This is your very first extreme now. Wow, my first extreme horse is so shiny! I love it! And he's got and snow you, and ice everywhere. If you turn on the mount music, you'll hear the Shiva theme playing. Oh, that's awesome. So, hold on. That would be in what? System? Uh, character configuration, probably. Maybe not. System configuration. Audio. Play music when mounted. Apply. Ah, oh, that's so epic! I love it. And Katara, you've got it too as well. That's so neat. I have Horse a low quality version. <laughs> the slightly less shiny. That's still <laughs> awesome. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I had no idea. All right, a weapon containing an ice weapon. Oh, do we get an ice weapon as a black mage? I don't know. I could use a new black mage weapon. I think so. I think we do it. I Let's think you like what it looks like. All right. We'll use this and we'll give ourselves a new black mage weapon. And let's just see if it pops on. It does. The true ice rod. Ooh, look at the glow. Oh, <laughs> oh we're so icy. We're so icy. Man, I think I might need to change some of the um, black mage attire into looking a little more blue. What do you What do y'all think? <laughs> Thematically, stick around. Ah, that's so awesome looking. That's so cool. Okay, so everyone, are you feeling for one more? You got the ice axe? Nice. Nice. Ice axe. I, I can see how you, you, if you're wanting to get a full collection of all of the weapons, You'd have to just do it over and over and over again to just keep getting the like weapon coffer and stuff. But do we feel like doing one more to end the night out? It's How 11 o'clock. It is a little bit towards the later side, but I feel like the other ones may not be as um, intense as the last two. Yes, no, maybe? Titan, uh, not Titan, um, Leviathan. Leviathan's pretty straightforward and, and very fun. It's All right. Cool yeah, I wanted to do Leviathan because I thought that the um, ship mechanics were really fun and really cool. So. Oh, Katara has to go to bed. Oh, Katara, thank you so much. You did an amazing, amazing job tanking, and and just you. <laughs> I feel like there were several times you helped kind of carry us through, and um. Thank you, Katara. You've been, been an amazing, amazing companion. Yeah, for the way that um, 
the extreme fights in ARR are designed. The, the tank is one of the most um, challenging responsibilities to play in the party. Well, and that's where I'd be very nervous <laughs> in something like that being a tank. I'm like, I'll let other people do it as a tank, but I wish I think it works really well for us as a black mage or even just your ranged DPS. It lets us see the whole fight, get to watch how things work. Now we understand a lot more about the mechanics. So if we want to go back and help, um, we can we can do that as a as a tank now. But you know, it, it really helps knowing how it all works out. So um, I also like the the mount music adjusts to your movement speed, just like in the car. Um, <laughs> when you when you come to a stop, your radio will go a little quiet. If you have a fancier, newer car, usually the radio will get a little quieter when you when you stop versus when your highway speeds. So. Oh, we definitely deserved all the times that we got killed. <laughs> I was running around just totally like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah. It is not the first time I have seen these stride into the waking sands wearing such a look with a fancy new icy, icy staff. It looks so cool. It's like black ice. It really fits a black mage theme. It's perfect. Thou art as an open book, Jake, wherein the tale of thy victory is writ large. Well, we were successful. We got a cool mount. Thank you to everyone for your help in that. In her redoubled strength, I glimpse the dark hand of the Paragons. Her return and her very defeat se severeth merely to continue the escalating cycle of conflict. Full glad am I of thine all-surprising martial skill, Jake, yet still more, more glad would I be were they not required. Would that Lady Iceheart could be made to abandon her misgotten crusade. Till she be thus converted or all slain, the people of Ishgard will know no peace. But do not be disheartened. One day by thy hand, the darkness within and without shall be purged, and the Asians shall taste lasting defeat. We need only have faith. It's interesting is um, because she wasn't necessarily one of the ones in regard to ARR, it, we didn't have anything with the Asians, any fancy bone that we had to return. That's kind of a whole separate, a whole little separate thing, so. The Lord of the World, slain at thy hand. Twas a deed both heroic and historic, a tale to be told down the ages. I fear, however, that the terror of the indigo deep did slumber but briefly in the ethereal sea. The maelstrom hath assured me with unhappy certitude that Leviathan doth stir from the abyss once more. Should this indeed prove the case, then we face the most troubling and chilling predicament. The Lord of the Whirl is a voracious being. Not less than a treasure trove of crystals would serve to lure the entity back to our plane of existence. It is folly, then, to believe that the sea-bound beastmen could gather such a hall with such impossible alacrity. No, we must assume that the Sahagan have adopted the disturbing new summoning ritual we observed amongst the other beast tribes. A threat of unprecedented magnitude now loometh over Limsa Lominsa. Take thee the swiftest road to the Maelstrom Command, and offer thy stalwart service. Tis thy shining light must needs illuminate the ocean's darkening swell. Darkening swell. To Lenosha we go. We only got 3,000 gil for beating Shiva. All that work? I could have spent 3,000 gil more on potions just to help beat her. <laughs> That's where the, your RuneScape um, guide is talking about the expense to actually complete the task at hand. You spend a lot in, in potions and gear. Oh, you would not believe what people do in RuneScape. It it's very much of like the, the spending ten dollars to make five dollars type thing. <laughs> like people people get so stuck up about like the gear that they're using and the things that they, the resources the way they're playing it that they're like nah bro I just I just can't accept anything less than a certain expenditure per hour right wow. and so then they go and they big boss and if you add up how much they make across those hours, they're actually losing money. Losing, <laughs> straight up losing money. Is that where they have the like farming AFK uh, accounts that help fund their expenditure? Or do they just do other things to get back that money that they've lost? Yeah, yeah. Usually they'll go and do more casual things to fund that expenditure. Got it. Judging by the testimony given by the surviving crew members, the massive waves the entity leveled against the ships dwarfed anything we have ever seen the Primal Command before. Should he unleash a tidal wave of similarly empowered proportions, Limsa would be scraped from the island like a barnacle from the hull. It is with such dreaded imaginings in mind that I bid you sail forth to slay the lord of the world yet again. You're going to be absolutely killed and murdered by this creature, but do it anyway. 
Our strategy remains unchanged. The twin vessel, the Horal Eater, is already being prepared under the command of the Storm Marshal Svlasvern. Make your way to the Moraby Dry Docks once your own preparations are complete. Seek out the Sergeant Sternlona, and she will see you safely aboard the ship. May the Navigator guide and protect you. Alright. Off we go to the Moraby Docks. Are you already teleporting? Yeah. Too fast. Lucky got us covered. <laughs> Lucky loves to to figure out where we're teleporting to and immediately do it. <laughs> you won't let me spend my own guild to teleport. You and your beautiful white mage gear. No, wait, that's not white mage. That's uh the not summoner, but scholar. I always forget the name of that one. With those little scrolls. Storm Sergeant Sterlona at your service. Well, the war leader is loaded and ready. You're given the signal for the tavern vessel to depart as soon as you're aboard. Viathan was sighted some distance from the coast, but there should be more than enough time to build up ramming speed. The entire crew is willing to lay down their lives to ensure you reach your targets. You can concentrate on skewering the overgrown sea serpent. Please, don't. Nobody needs to die for us. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Yep, it's shared for all his. Oh, okay, cool. So I wasn't technically mistaken, but. Once more into the breach. I'm gonna go for a, a Oh, you can't get on the ship. I forgot about that. Oh, we're immediately in, nice. Apparently people like grinding the extremes. And we have our fancy new staff. We can't bring our mount in, but... The twin ships. Boom. Last time we did this as a monk. Punchy, punchy. Now we're going to be casting all sorts of spells. The primal drums are really good, too. Dun. of him to kind of wait for us to get ready to uh, start attacking him, so. Yeah, he's, he's kind of patient for us. One tank dropped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, we need... <laughs> it'd be difficult to do this without an extra one. Finding members, so looking for another tank. Yeah, you kind of have to have two tanks for this one, because he has a head and a tail to attack. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a quick nap here, don't mind me. <laughs> We've got your meal right here, Leviathan! It's right here, enjoy! <laughs> We've brought you a snack! <laughs> Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on, hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna place that again. What I wanted to do is control down. There we go. And now I can screenshot. Full party again. There we go. I'll take the head. I'll take the tail. Let's get wet. Oh, the music's got more intense. Dun, 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 dun. All right. 
Back up. Alright, so we fought ice, now it's time to fight water. Now, if I remember correctly from the last time that we did this, the um, there are ads that pop up, the Sahagen pop up all over the place. Okay. Yes, you're correct, there will be ones to jump on. Like these right here! charge the uh, convert Elemental converter is ready Go to the right We go again. Oh, ouch. Wow. Did that wipe everyone? Yes. What? Oh, did we not turn on the elemental conversion? They used it too early. Oh, wow. Insta kill. <laughs> the dash across usually means this time. Usually, not this time. That's okay, though. We'll, we'll assign someone the responsibility. Are savage. No, you're fine. You're fine. Rianeb. Usually he'll dash across the middle if it isn't time. Okay. I think you've got it this time. <laughs> I did miss your incompetence already. I have brought dishonor already. <laughs> exactly. Not it. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll just, uh, I'll do it. I'll just wait for the second for the second. Okay, okay, cool. Again. Again. Oh, 
Alright, look for the side with the water spout. And move all the way from it. That will be very important in phase two. Minions will spawn at the back of the ship. Oh, we are at the back of the ship. Spears spawn in the corners. Yep, spin. Take them out one at a time. Because they do they do splash damage on the party, and so you don't want to pop all of them at once. Dodge. Now he's gonna do it. Yep. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled it a little too late. A little too late. He did it when he dashed across the, the long distance of the boat. Wait, so explain that to me? Um, so he will, he will pop up on the sides or the ends. So here we just move away, right? That's on the right, side. Right, 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 right. But if he pops up on the end, he's going to do that dash all the way across. Right. And there is a dash across the middle it is a fake out for whether or not to use the um, the corrupt Oh, but protection. not the long side middle. But not the long side. The short Correct. side middle. The, the tank thought that it was um, the middle the, doing middle. The long direction was the fake out, and it wasn't. Got it. Notice we uh, don't have any weapons anymore. Uh, 
Now it's serious time. He's diving. Oh, wow. I think I have to decide enough. <laughs> and I'm into the depths of God. Blub, 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 blub. Are you stuck in a bubble? Probably that was it. No, I've been like, I've been silenced or something. Oh, I barely dodged that because I had no idea where he bubbled from. Oh, he got us. Covered us again. He did it. Finish it. No, I got you. <laughs> I hate balls for breakfast. Well done, well done. I never fell off except for the time that my body was already dead, so fish posh, <laughs> easy. <laughs> there was now you food for the fishies. There were several of those that were really, really close though. It was really cool. It was like the you know, last second, <laughs> just dodging out of the way. Player accommodation, so many people to accommodate. So many people to give love for. All right, uh, greed, need, oh. need. I'll just greed all of it. Okay, one more, one more picture to end end up here. We'll take it over here by the, by the little device. Perfect. <laughs> Everyone happy with their chosen action? Yep. My chosen action is to blind everyone. <laughs> yes, I noticed that. There we go. Want to get you with a uh, beautiful light. Holy light. Oh, uh, 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 I didn't mean to, to close it. What's it again? To bring it back? I forget. Um, I think it's R. R, yes, thank you. Wanted to, to bring in some of the lighting. Character lighting. 
Because we need more light, you know. There's not enough light that's currently <laughs> turning you into a, a fireball <laughs> of brightness. I felt so cool when I did that LV3 in Shiva. Oh, dude, you saved that fight. You genuinely <laughs> saved that whole fight. It was fantastic. Beautiful. You're all amazing! <laughs> no! I'm gonna fall. Oh, we can jump off? You can. Into the ocean we go! You actually hear a drowning sound <laughs> We couldn't jump off on the uh, Shiva fight. Actually, I wonder if you could have. I don't think so. I think you just get frozen on the edge. Man, no mount drop? Never lucky. No, oh, man. Gosh. It's probably going to take, like, I'm never going to get one. It's fine. You know, whatever. <laughs> Didn't even get a weapon coffer. What's wrong? Did any of you guys get anything cool? Oh, uh, I got the coffer. Yep. You got the weapon coffer? All right, show it off. What? Sh all right, all right. No, what, what, what job? I, um, yeah, what job do you what want? What job do? should I open this? I don't know. Uh, I have. You probably know what they look like better than I do. The only ones I could do it on are red mage and white mage. Both seem like pretty if good options. If I call. I'll try it on White Mage. Yeah. You got all of the, uh, you know, Avatar the Last Airbender where water is all healing and everything. So, you know, water, water staff. Ah, oh, it glows. Look at the little spike on it. That's so shiny. We got the elements, ice, yep. water. Wait, now hold on. We we already have fire? Yeah, there's fire. Yes, Lucius fire. Yes, yep. Lucius fire. All right. Uh Lavava, you got anything Malachi's... air related <laughs> or earth? Uh, more fire. Oh, Lucky's got fire too. See, we'll see my um this is Grudus. So this is air. There you go. Air, fire, ice. So who has who has water? Nope. Hey, thank you. Uh, Lucy, that was perfect. Only fire. Uh, fire only. That's all we care about. Man, you look like absolute beast, Lucy, with all of the, the armor, the helmet, and the flaming axe. I would I would not want to fight you. Oh, that's the Ifrit oh, axe. Yeah. It's a good one. I think I, that's the, the crafted do, version. Do you have any fire? Do I? I mean, no, I have lightning. Because I have, uh, I have more fire. Yeah, <laughs> more fire, all the fire. Now, with the Shiva staff that you have, you can get it upgraded. Um, with some good night, some Steph extra Yeah, items. we're wrapping up the stream here, and we're gonna be heading to bed here pretty soon ourselves. So you're not gonna miss anything. Thank you for coming out. Greatly appreciate you hanging out while we're doing all some awesome stuff. Oh, you say so uh, upgrading the staff and what? Uh, at the uh, the vendor in Mordona. Mordona. The one who sells the um, ironworks gear. Okay. Let me check the items that are required. I probably sold all of them in the marketplace today. So you need five diamond dust. I've you got get one, one diamond, diamond dust. dust for each time you clear the fight. So when you have five, you can exchange it for the diamond rod. So try on that one. Do, 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 do. Up here. Oh, no. You're over here. Servant of Splendor. And go to Primal Gear category. Primal Gear. And then. So that's Tidal, which is going to be water. There's Shiva. And then Claws, Katana, Daggers, Bow, Musket, Rod? Yeah, the Diamond Rod. Which I have the True Ice Rod. Shiva, Diamond, Rod. Try on.
You gotta unsheath it to get the effect. Oh, 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 duh. Oh, I love the little ice sparkles off of it. Mm -hmm. So now, so currently, when we do that for ourselves, it just comes out. But with this one, it it glows, lights up, and it's got little ice frost off of it. That would pair so nicely with our ice spells. It's not even funny. That would be fantastic. Okay, so time to grind some primals. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, and so each one has their own items that are required. Mirror of the Whirl, which you only need one for. Man, so for Shiva, you have to do five times to upgrade it? That's some, mm -hmm. that's some dedication. Well, the, the fight takes 30 seconds if you have a high-level character, like a high-level job. So. Oh, you can, do, you can get these unsynced? Correct, yeah. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I could even swap over to my Paladin and do it at level 60. When you get Ifrit, you finish the three primal quests, and you get tokens for cool weapons too, like the one Mom Frida had. Oh, that's right! I think those are... Token Arena's token exchange. Yes. So these, this primal gear... Oh, it's probably because we've only done the extremes for Shiva and Leviathan. The other ones won't unlock until we've done those as well. Okay. No, it's these no? are the only two that have um, special weapon. Oh, rings. okay, Leviathan. okay. Upgraded weaponry. Got it. The other fights you can get upgraded weapons for, but they are specifically crafted ones. Ah, so, nice and blue. So oh, it's got little than... bubbles going up. That's so fancy. But the bubbles are of the bubbles. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You were saying the, um... Oh, just that, um... The other ones, you... The materials you get from the fight, you... You have to be a crafter, and you can craft weapons yourself. Got it. The bow is crazy for Leviathan. It's, like, literally the Leviathan dragon in bow form. That is... That's wild. Oh, that is. Yeah. Like, it's literally him wrapped around it. It's awesome. The the axe that you get from Rowena's token exchange is actually the axe that Mombrita had. That's awesome. I can't do the token exchange. I don't think I've gotten far enough in the story for, for... Well, no, you're the same with me. She said that... When I open a shop, I have all matter of exotic wares ready for sale, but producing goods will prove more difficult than I imagine return later. I'll figure it out a way. I can't open the token exchange shop. Roving this token exchange? Oh, no. Oh, Rowena's token exchange. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. And then this one. Ah, that's the, that's the axe that she got lent. Oh, Moonbrida. Hellish oh, that's oh. creepy. Those are cool. The Omnitome, which is the Arcanist weapon. Omnitome, there you the go. The book has a face on it, and the face has blinking eyes. Oh, yeah. Blink, blink. Oh, the eyes even look around. He's looking from side to side. He's very grumpy. He's like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing with me? Huh? Small little buckler. And a fancy small little buckler. Break blade. Oh, that looks like a brutal blade. I didn't even look at the ones for um, the primal gear. 
But this is a good way, though, to take a look at, you know, if you, you know, to get an early look at what the different weapons are. Um, so that way you can decide if you actually wanted to swap your gear out or something like Oh, the ice blade is super cool, too. What? Yeah, that would have been neat as a uh, gladiator. I'm not, I'm not upset that I didn't do the, the ice blade, but that's a cool looking weapon as well. Gives you a sneak preview of different options. Well, cool. Ah, it was an awesome night of extreme race. That, that's like the only thing that we did tonight, and I'm totally down. I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> oh, hey, Lava's got some shiny weapons now too. That's the that's dancer. That's lock. That's lockies. Yeah. Dancer's arms, augmented Shire glaives. So you got ice, air, more ice. <laughs> and fire. I don't think I have any water related things, but that's okay. There, this is my water outfit. <laughs> oh, she has the little the little um butterfly uh headpiece too. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to examine. Is that actually the... Yeah, okay, so the dancer gets the butterfly too, just like the gunbreaker outfit. Nice. I love that. I mean, I, I actually need to go play dancer in Crystalline Conflict then for 6.2 to get that. Because <laughs> I use that for my gunbreaker outfit. I love the little butterfly. The little butterfly in the hair? Yep. Unfortunately, it won't let me try on the butterfly, so... Uh, no, no luck for me to wear the butterfly today, but... What? It won't? Well, it's because it's a glamour. So it, 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 when I try to try on the hat, it uh, says that you're not a dancer. You can't. You can't wear it. So. I mean, I'm not a dancer right now either, but I can try it on. Oh, and you know what? It's probably just, yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is for girls only. Oh, uh, for girls only. <laughs> Guys can't wear butterflies on their hair. What are you talking about? That's all right. I don't need. I don't need no stinking butterfly in my hair. <gasps> that guy had the dragon, the fancy dragon. Emote. So pretty. Oop, wrong direction. There we go. <laughs> I love the like Whee! bright green peacock feathers that are part of it. Oh, down on the the back of it, yeah, yeah. Or I guess they're more the sides, really. Little side pieces. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> the other thing it I love is... about this, and we'll call it a night tonight, is um, just the the otters that have been running around this entire stream with all of the little green hats. <laughs> look like little yes. mushrooms that are just like running around underneath their feet they're so cute the, a great um, addition the heavens ward version of palace of the dead there are traps in there that turn you know how palace of the dead it turns you into a frog well it turns you into this otter in the heaven or in the stormblood version and so you turn into the otter that, you turn into the otter when you run over the, the transmogrification trap. That's yeah. so cute! I and whenever be that an happens, otter. my friend and I always go. <laughs> 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 I become an adorable little otter. The wide eyed fawn. How precious. You gotta get the dodo. Fat bird. It's gonna eat the otters. I haven't even summoned all these guys yet. I haven't summoned the uh, shark. But we got that from fishing. Oh, it tells you their behavior. Independent. Independent, independent. It's a blahage. Obedient. Obedient. Interesting. What's a blahage? It's um a uh, it was like a shark that you could buy at IKEA, 
And so, because IKEA is like a, a Swedish company, I think they all like everything like officially the, the official names of the items are all very weird Swedish names. Ah, and yes. So the, whatever the Swedish name for the shark was was like spelled like Blaharge or something. Got it. And it was just so derpy looking that people like fell in love with it just because of how goofy it looked. <laughs> it looks goofy in a very good way. I do yeah, remember. There's, there's, there's a lot of memes around it. So. Whoa, he's fast. He just ran around in a circle. I did not realize that he was that that quick. Look at him go. He got skills. All right, well, thank you everyone for coming out. The ice shield is your favorite. Yeah, super stuff getting shinier. We're getting shiny gear for the first time in so long.